These are already here. Okay, you guys can hear me all good. Let's get Rob on the line as well. How are we all? Welcome to the definitive playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. Rob, yeah. can we hear Rob now, everybody? A one in the chat, if you can hear me and Rob nice and clear. Can you hear me? Yo, Rob. <laughs> yep, Yay. beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. Welcome, everybody. This is going to be Rob's first time ever seeing the full game. I'm going to be on the sticks. I'm going to be playing because Rob, not much of a gamer, are you, Rob? No. Sorry. No. And I want to tell you, I, I, there's no way anybody would enjoy even one second of it if I was trying to play this myself. And thank you so much, Dan, for offering to do it. It's going to be so much fun, man. Oh, I can't wait, man. I really can't. We've been um, working on this behind the scenes for a while now, and everyone's been messaging us, uh, wondering when it's happening. Well, it's here. So let me run through a few details for you guys, just so you know. So obviously, we're not going to play the full game today. We're going to play it in chunks, parts. So this is part one of the game. And then as we go along, we might even add some of the other actors in um, if they're willing to come on. Um, so, you know... Uh, Benjamin Davis, who plays Dutch, or um, who else? Steve Palmer, maybe. So we'll see. That, you know, the schedules have to align, but we'll do our best. Um, this live, this live stream is going to stay up after this. Uh, so if you have to leave at any point or whatever, you can come back. And I'm also going to have timestamps, so you can go to certain missions or whatever as we go along. Um, we're probably going to be doing this. Rob, every Sunday or every other Sunday at this time. Yeah. Um, because that works for, for Rob's schedule. He might have to go to some Comic-Cons here and there, and maybe we can hook up at the Comic-Cons and, and do the stream. But pretty much this time every Sunday, you can expect it. So part two probably next week as well. Um, we really do appreciate Super Chats and, and people membering up and supporting the show. Me and uh, Rob are going to split this down the middle as well. Um, and, you know, if, if we get enough support, we might even do Undead Nightmare. Rob, what do you think? <laughs> I think it sounds great, man. This is awesome. I haven't even started yet. I'm ready. I'm so ready for it. I love it. <laughs> I'm pumped. Uh, and... Also, probably don't ask Rob for shout outs. If you want a really good shout out from Rob, head over to his cameo and he'll give you a really good one. So keep the conversation, you know, try to keep it to the game if you can. We'll do a couple of shout outs here and there, but um, just so, you know, because if everyone wanted a shout out, Rob, you know, we'd be here all day. Be here all day. We wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get to the content. So, um, just quickly, Rob, so you've seen some cutscenes of the game, but never the whole thing put together, right? You've seen a few bits and pieces over the years? Yeah, yeah, and I did. I did try to play. I did. Um, there were some problems, though. <laughs> I, um, so first of all, you have to know that um, as soon as Red Dead Redemption came out, my wife and I moved to Indiana and um got real busy with our lives here she uh got pregnant with our twin boys and i was busy doing a, a new job and we were trying to get ourselves you know established and back in my hometown which luckily didn't didn't take too much work but then i left to start going to new york to start working on undead nightmare and so uh, there yeah. was just there was so much going on right away that I played, but just I wasn't able to sit down and like really, really get into it. Also, when I would play, my wife would get freaked out because she would she would see John moving like me, but and sounding exactly like me, but not looking like me. And it was all kind of it was like a weird thing for her. So she had to step away. And then I thought, wait a minute, if you can't do this with me, I don't know how much fun. Anyway, then she would be in the other room and she would hear John yelling and she would pop in and say, is that the game yelling or is that you? <laughs> <laughs> so, all she that, thought he was, she thought you were yelling at her, but it was actually John, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
all of that in combination with the fact that I just I'm just not good. I'm not good with the controllers. I get lost. I, I'm looking up in the air and people shooting me, and it was frustrating. Yeah. And uh, and you know then you know so that was years and years ago. But so then we finished Undead Nightmare. I played a little bit of that too. Yeah. But it wasn't long after that we had our twin boys. I just haven't. I I know it sounds crazy to say that I haven't had time to really sit down and figure it out and play. I honest to God, I haven't. And None. so this is, this is really exciting for me. And, uh, I've seen, you know, I've seen stuff on YouTube, of course I've seen, but I have never ever sat and watched someone actually play the game. Never. And I'm excited about it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Great answer, man. And we encourage anyone watching, feel free to, you know, take some footage of us playing, edit it down, make your own little montage or upload your own videos. We're happy for you to go wild. Just make sure you um, link everyone back to the to the mainstream or, you know, link our channels, whatever. Uh, Rob's going to probably put this stream up on his YouTube as well. Rob, maybe, if you can get that yeah. going. Um, we'll, yeah, I would, I would love to. Yeah. Um, if anyone are wanting to know, I'm playing on a Xbox Series X. So we're playing on that, which I think is probably the best way to play at the moment. Um, and yeah, I mean, one other thing that the thumbnail, that's not our bodies, just so people know. <laughs> people, yeah, the thumbnail for this video and the graphics, our heads were stuck on <clears throat> other people's bodies. Okay, guys, we're a lot more muscly, ripped, you know, me and Rob, so, okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, so good. Now, again, I'll be playing. Rob will be reacting, giving us some commentary. Rob will be looking at the chat as well, as best as he can yeah. while looking at the game. And is that about it, Rob? Are we anything else you uh, want to say? Oh, no, I'm, I'm really You're enjoying this. It's going to be a lot to keep up with. I'm reading some of these comments, and there's so many that are so funny already. I'm not drinking Miller Lite. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is just ice water. We'll get, we'll get some beers going at some point, maybe. But, um, yeah, this is great. This is awesome. This is great. Now, what would Kay say? Super hyped for this. Y'all are amazing. See you in October, Rob. Yes. So excited for that, Kay. That's going to be in Scotland. We're going to do it at Comic-Con. Uh, Roger, Ben, Alex, and I will be at a Comic-Con in Scotland, and we can't wait to get there. It's going to be great. Can't wait to see you too, Kay. Awesome. And Artifacts here says, question for Rob, do you prefer John in Red Dead 1 or 2? Oh, wow. Um, maybe 2. He's all grown up by then, right? He's uh, not, not as much of a whiny little kind of punk <laughs> beautiful um all right again if you know if we get enough support on this guy you guys we're gonna we're gonna hopefully maybe do red dead 2 down the line or undead nightmares so please if you could share the stream on your twitter your instagram wherever you are reddit uh what else do they use these days rob tiktok myspace whatsapp discord <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep up really LinkedIn hard. does anyone use LinkedIn it might, it might just be me uh, <laughs> alright is that all for the donations let me just check before we get going here um, we're probably going to play a couple of hours here today guys and then we'll be back next week as well um, I think I don't think I missed any but if I do guys please bear with me we're going from Christian here Getting your cameo and meeting you at Wintercon was a dream come true. Love you, Rob. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Cameos are a lot of fun. They really are. And of course, you know, thank you for, for the support. But it's uh, it's a good way to kind of interact and hang out. And there's new there's a new feature now, too. It's called Cameo Live. I don't know much about it, but it could be something interesting, too, to look forward to. Oh, so where they can um, talk to you live. Yeah, oh, almost wow. in a format like you and I have now, I think. In, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. It's brand new, but um, we'll see. Anyway, yeah. Beautiful. Cool. Epic Loser, <laughs> thank you for your donation as well through Super Chat. We appreciate that. 
All right, Rob. Um, before we get into it, this is one of the greatest games ever made. The greatest protagonists. Rob, what does this game mean to you before we kick it off? How has this game changed your life, man? Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's all... In in so many ways, so many ways. I mean, if you if you start now and go back, I mean, look at all the support. Look at all these awesome people hanging out. Um, I I had no idea what it was that I had gotten myself involved in, and and now I mean, you think about when we started the production of Red Dead Redemption. That was almost twenty years ago, and so for wow. this. This to be still something that has given me so much, uh, so much joy, and and over you know it's like when you're when you're part of something that's been so special to so many people, mm. it's always it's always something that no matter how your day's going, no matter what's going on in your life, you can still know like this is this is a really cool thing that I was able to be fortunate enough to be part of. And it, it always helps lift you up. And then also, you know, the other thing I want to say about this community, of course, I really appreciate you being supportive to me and being cool with me. But I see all the time how supportive and cool you are with each other. And that is that that is really, really cool. So thank you for being that way. Awesome people. I agree, man. That's fantastic. Um, all right. A couple quick more. We're just getting flooded with donations here. Rob, to the best of my memory, what was your favorite scene to shoot in Red Dead 1? Thanks. Looking great as always from Lineback's Jez Kitty. Jez Kitty, thank you so much. You are so awesome. Everyone find her on Instagram. She's so cool. One of my actual friends that I've met in person when I was in England. She's such a cool, truly inspiring person. Get to know her. Um, but to answer your question, I, I guess I need to be refreshed. I mean, it's been a long, long time. Yeah, that's and what we're here for, man. Yeah. This, the, these are the know. answers we're going to be getting. So. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of uh, as as I see these things and I and I remember them. I'm I'm sure it's going to bring back all kinds of great memories and. Yeah. It's, so many, so many fun things that we did that were, you know, outrageous. They could be funny in the game. Also, some of the really intense stuff that was fun too. You know, I mean, it was great. The whole experience was awesome. We'll have to see. I, I'm afraid that everything I see is going to be my favorite part, though. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to constantly be favorite parts as we play here. Uh... This is my favorite. This one, yeah. It's hard to know. Hard to know. It's, it's exciting to get back into it, though. And I want to just say real quick, this has nothing to do with anything at all. Besides, yeah. I, I have a cold, and that's why oh, I sound no. like this. I'm sorry. Then I'm fine. I'm fine. It's only a cold, and so uh, excuse yeah. me if I cough or if I have sniffles. It's just a cold, and that's just that's all it is. So we're all that's good. That's all it is. And I'm sorry that you might hear me sniffle no. and blow my nose. You don't need to be sorry, brother. Rob is the man. Dan, thanks for making this happen. Everyone else, great to see you. Let's get through a couple more before we start, guys. Uh, Drimes, thank you so much for the NOK 100. What's NOK? What currency is that, Rob? Do you have any idea? NOK. I don't know. I don't know. I N -O -K. have no idea. Does anyone know in the chat? NOK currency. NOK is Norwegian. Wow. Uh, Rob, you changed my life when I found out about John Marston. Keep outlawing Mr. Marston. Marston, P.S. You still eat babies. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I hope, um, I hope that if, if, if I changed your life, I did it in a positive way. You never know when someone starts talking about John Marston. You didn't go start robbing trains and banks. And stuff like that, I hope. Anyway. <clears throat> can't, can't wait for Scotland yeah. Comic Con. All the best from Tarts and Hobbit. You're heading to Scotland. When are you heading to Scotland? A couple of weeks? Uh, next next month. 
Next and month. I don't know the exact dates. I, I, I want, I want to say, but I don't know the exact dates. It's, uh, yeah, I'll have that information for the next time. I'll have that. But yeah, it's going to be a good time. Scotland. Let's do this. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been there before? No, no. And I can't wait. You know, the, the cool thing about Scotland, a couple cool things about Scotland. So I did the, um, I can't remember which one I did. It was either 23andMe or um, Ancestry.com. I did one of those. And that's, I'm not from Scotland. I'm not trying to say that, people from Scotland. I love you, but I'm not trying to tell you that I'm one of you because you're, you've earned that. I, but my blood, my blood is from there. And so is John. So it's kind of a lot coming together there in Scotland. I'm excited about it. Nicole I feel like Bell. I might run into Nicole Bell, uh, not going to be able to go to Scotland. Sorry, Rob. Hope to meet you in person soon. Thank you so much for the $5, Nicole. Polo has become a member. Thank you so much, mate. We really appreciate their support on uh, on the stream. Nathan, I just want to say thanks for all the childhood memories. Played Red Dead 1 so much as a kid, Rob, and Red Dead 2 as a teenager. That's from Nathan03. Thank you so much for the eight ninety nine, brother. And Kia4499, he says, ask Rob once where he gets the energy from. He said he just stays in the moment. His advice helped me pass year two of uni on to year three. Now, thank you, man. Wow. Great advice, Rob. Hey, thank you. I, you know what? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I want you to know, too, everyone, and this is the truth, and you know this anyway, but I need to say it out loud. I'm very, uh, when I make these short videos that you see on Instagram or TikTok or wherever, yeah, of course, I'm full of energy, but I'm not like that all the time. Not everybody has a great day every day. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's important to enjoy feeling good, recognize it, and appreciate it because we don't get it all the time. Yeah, well, there's there's no joy without a bit of pain sometimes, as you know. But we when we're when there is joy, you got to celebrate it, do you? And that's one thing you've taught me too, Rob, is um, living in the moment and just enjoying life. You know. Yeah. That's yeah. That. And that's what we're gonna do in this stream. We're just gonna have fun, sit back, and enjoy this game. Thank you so much, Al Knight Road, for becoming a member. We really appreciate that. You get that nice little Red Dead icon. Lion Backs, thank you so much, Rob. Hope you feel better soon. I can't wait to see you in Scotland. I hope you like chocolate. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. I, I do like chocolate. And thank you. I'm fine. I promise you I'm fine. I'm, I'm still doing everything that I would be doing. I went to work all week. I'm fine. Just got a cold. That's it. It's nothing. That's just why I sound this way. And if I, if I start coughing, that's why. And so that's it. Okay. Last Don't want thing, anyone to worry. Guys in the chat, I want to know where you're from. Where are you tuning in from across the world? Australia? Is it Indiana? Is it Colombia? Is it Germany? Pop it in the chat where you're from. And uh, we'll get started here, Rob. And please keep the Super Chats coming through. We'll probably take a little bit of a pause after a few cutscenes and gameplay and get to a few of them. Um, and Rob will try and uh, answer as many of your questions as possible. Jesus Christ, we've got people from everywhere. Poland, everywhere. England, Philly, Finland, Kazakhstan, Sweden, Manchester, Vancouver, Ukraine, Malaysia, Italy, That's Australia, so New York. It's everywhere. Everywhere, Welcome man. To Welcome to the chicken coop, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, this is overwhelming. Thank you so much for hanging out. This is going to be awesome. Okay, Rob, before we get into this cutscene, the opening cutscene. Yeah. Are you ready? I don't know. For your know. first experience. Yeah. You ready? I, yeah. I mean, this can't, it could not be a more spectacular way to do this i love this so much whoa we got a hundred ars thank you so much from polo rob is super happy listening to him makes me smile can i have a little shout out greetings from argentina that's from polo polo 
what's happening? Thank you so much. I, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I'm happy to see you. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time. Let's Dude, party, man. Banda two, out. Banda 247, Dan, Rob, the community, you're all awesome. Outlaws for life. Thank you so much, man, for the $9. Really appreciate that support. Uh, Rebel Heart, thank you for being an amazing human to the community, Rob. We love you. Love both of the games. One of my favorite lines is, I love you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I love you, lady. Let me see. That's probably not how John said it. He was probably angry when he said it. Wasn't yeah, he? he was angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got that one wrong. No. And Lisu G, thank you so much for becoming a member. We, Me and Rob really appreciate that. Okay. Here we go, Rob. You can see the game. All good? <clears throat> Yeah, I can see. I mean, I'm watching uh, all these awesome. Uh, everything's scrolling up. There we go. Now there we go. Changed. We got audio. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go, Rob. Enjoy. Now all let's right. just make sure this audio is all good. Okay. No, Start a new game. All right. I got it. I'm gonna have to put on a cowboy hat for this, I think, aren't I? <laughs> I can hear I can hear Roger right now going, Don't, no, put no. doing it. is being made right now, Rob. Never before has a Red Dead actor done this live on YouTube. So this is a world first. <laughs> well, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Rockstar Games presents. Yeah. There it's he right, is. is you can hear it all good, guys? Yeah. Similar hat too, actually. Yeah, it's not bad, right? I need a feather. I need uh, and I need a little nick out of the side. So good. Sounds good, beautiful. You know, it's so cool too to see this, and it's and it's always like some of this stuff I didn't see any of this stuff. But like walking onto that train right there, I walked up at Apple Boxes and turned, and they had a little bit for me to step forward to, and that was it. It's just amazing to see what it looks like in the game versus what it looked like on the stage. Well, I for one am grateful, so cool. Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. I'm going to turn you up a little bit, Rob. But Father, yeah, do you go know ahead. unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're... So all these actors' performance capture with you there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we had a, had a train set up. We all sat on benches and... And did our thing. It's not only it's weird too, now like have motor cars, father, but I heard obviously that the people that are talking and be able to fly. No, you see them moving. But I remember too, fly, like Jenny. 
No, no, apparently. Our director would say, you gotta move fly. a little bit. Didn't you? Because I was just sitting there, Francis like what you would do if you were walking, you know, looking out the window. Think so, Jenny. Was this your first ever scene that you shot? No, this wasn't first, but it was like every now and then you had to be reminded. Like, if you just don't move, then you don't look like you're alive in the game. So you have to fill up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash. I'll turn on subtitles, guys, after this cutscene. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting. Someone just asked, how many takes did you need to do it? Without to get it perfect. Um, Apparently, <laughs> sometimes a lot. Politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. And I'm gonna say the soundtrack, one of the greatest of all time, in my opinion. What you must remember, yeah, my dear, Woody Jackson, is that we right? have been brought here mm -hmm. to spread the Genius. word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the it's opportunity Barney. we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship. Look how still John is. I wasn't doing my job. It, it's Look at him. <laughs> Well, you're on a train. Don't be, be too harsh. It's a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often <clears throat> seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. And we're away. <clears throat> Man, it still holds up graphically, in my opinion. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, that, that stuff, all this that looks so real, none of it. I mean, it's all like the one of our assistant directors would always say when we were doing stuff in the sound booth, he would always just say, listen to this. Look at this. This is all just ones and zeros that someone put together and made it look like this. It's not there. <laughs> but even in, look at the, look at the detail on this guy stumbling out of the bar drunk. I mean, half half the people wouldn't even see this. Look at him. He's just stumbled. He's gone. And and it's like, it's just the little details. This guy over here has got the, the sack. It's just, it's the smallest details that they, they always get right, Rockstar. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's this old bastard. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. What does that line mean, sometimes? You must be John Marston, sometimes. I mean, I guess. I should, otherwise, I Jim Milton, so. or, or possibly yeah. even Rip Van Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Martin, Man, I can't believe yet. how good this looks. This is a 12-year-old game, and it looks better than some games that are out now, just quietly. Does it we, uh, does it feel weird hearing your own voice? Someone said yeah. in the chat, Rob. Yes, it does. It does a lot, just like it would for anyone else. It really does. And also, also because of the performance factor, it's weird to see how. And I know that it's not like exactly right because it's, it's got to go through the, the gaming so engine. Or whatever, you want the way John runs right. and moves, I don't necessarily like time. watching that either. Oh, really? Well, I mean, if you don't mind, like, Miss Van. Who said I was a I decent remember the first fella. time I played it's been it, for years why, now. why did they make him Folks run like built that? Door in a Mexican and then I realized kind of that I don't know who made then. him run like Why'd that? they leave? And then I got really... I ain't entirely <laughs> sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. We all good with audio guys watching? Just let us know if you can hear Rob all good 
You and the know game. how things is. So what Turn are you him up in the game, Derricka. I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna oh, find is... many folk around those parts. See now. Don't you do find about as close to as an old friend? Rob, do you really eat babies? Seth, <laughs> I mean, who has that? Yeah, I mean, you know, but don't. It's not. Is the game okay? So someone said the game is a bit any loud. Time in okay. Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, let's get the subtitles on too. Uh, where's the subtitles? Options, audio. Uh, no display subtitles on. For everyone asking, there you go. You do a lot worse than armadillo. Turn Rob up. So this, like this, was yeah. done in a sound booth. Well, it was the module, These kind of conversations were in a sound booth because there's really not a whole lot of physical stuff that you would need to do. Every, every and, that and that's the same for Red Dead 2, isn't it? All the horse really stuff. You ain't talkative, are you? No, yeah. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I the, am. The thing about I don't this, too, is that... Trust me. There's things you better off <laughs> they would not say, knowing. You need to say this loud enough to make it believable that you would be heard if you're at full gallop next you to a train during a thunderstorm and so john i just kind of yelled everything because i thought i guess that would make sense and then sometimes it worked and made sense but other times john's just yelling <laughs> yeah yeah they definitely fixed that in red dead 2 there's no doubt we did everything in, in, twice in, in red dead 2 you did everything twice which is insane to me but it, like you say the detail of course it, it, it's that so? important hey, for them to make it like right Damn this thing, yeah, um, is the audio better now guys just bear with us as we Time work this out that. live on air that's for sure Damn, it's better to do it now I'll while we're getting into the game than some of the intense scenes How did they find you to play John, Rob? Oh my goodness. It was, uh, apparently they had specific people in mind to play that role, and for whatever reason it didn't work out. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but they opened it up for auditions. And uh, I was the lucky one. You have yourself a good time. Gosh. <laughs> Do you remember so, shooting this scene? I can't vaguely, but but this next part, this is the very very first scene that we ever shot on wow. any part of Red Dead. It's wow. coming up right here, yeah. That's it's historic. Fun. Shit. I'm gonna grab this. I won't start it yet. Oh, let me stand up just for one second. I'm yeah, so yeah, sorry. yeah. I won't start it. And just by the way, how cool is it that the gun is on him and he takes it out? See how he takes it out of the... and puts it back in? Even a detail like that is not in modern games, where the, the gun is actually there. I just... it's just so good. Um, wow. what, what, what were you showing us, Rob? So this, Steve Palmer, who played Bill Williamson, this is his script from... Wow. When we were when we were given our script, and he sent that to me as a gift because he knows that I've got this awesome chicken coop full of fan art and all kinds of, and he he gave me this, and that's it. I mean those those are our lines. This is uh, wow. I'm sorry. There's there's a glare on that. I apologize. No, no, but, we can see it. Yeah. I just wow. ripped my. I gotta get some of those. I gotta get some of those cool air ear. Pads, pods. AirPods, yeah. <laughs> AirPods. <Ooh. laughs> That's a different product. I think. <laughs> I gotta uh, get some. All right, let's see this cutscene unfold. Go. Come. 
job for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. I can't even get right fair, on Bill. the camera. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. I love that line. Well. Oh, oh. that's it, everybody. <laughs> that's the game. No. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. So what were you looking up at there? Because in the mocap studio, you can't, like, are you just pretending to look up and he's... Yeah. 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 So for that, that that was uh we shot that this whole game was uh done in Santa Monica. Yeah. And it's a San, Rockstar San Diego's production, right? San Diego production. So it makes sense because that's close to them, whatever. Yeah. Um but Undead Nightmare and and Red Dead Two were done in New York. So in the studio in Sa in Santa Monica there was an upstairs, and it wasn't inside the volume, which means the cameras weren't pointed at it. But ah. so for, for that one, they actually had Steve Palmer standing up in like this upstairs hallway that was open to the stage. And so at that point, I did. I still wasn't looking at him. He was like over here, but it gave us, you know, like. A, a way to figure Welcome out alive. what we're doing, right? So I would look so it would seem. at like his so the same height at what he was, but not directly at him. And he I had do. an eye line Stupid. to look down at me. So then here. later, what were you doing? he came wild. down on the ground in the volume where the cameras were, and he just he just redid those lines to the floor, acting like he was oh, looking down. Wow! At him. Yeah, bit of movie magic. Yeah. 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 I think because, like I said, that was the very first thing that we shot. I think it might have been like a little bit much for us to be like, wait a minute, we're not supposed to look at each other. We're standing <laughs> face to face, but you want yeah. me to look up here? You want him to look down? I don't know. They may have done that just to make it easier on us. But um, yeah, yeah, that's that's what we did. And uh, later, John and and Dutch have a similar deal where John is upstairs inside a house, Dutch is out on the street. And we were kind of right next to each other. I was looking at the ground, and he was looking up at the ceiling, delivering our lines, and then they, they make it look the way they do. It's insane. It's insane. Uh, hey, Rob, the community is awesome. Outlaws for life. Uh, yeah. Rob is super happy. Listening to him makes me smile. That's greetings from Argentina. Rob, do you still talk to the original cast, Bonnie, et cetera? Yes. Well, so um, I haven't spoken with with Bonnie. The the so Kimberly Irons. I haven't <laughs> spoken with her in a while, but I would love to. She's awesome. Um, but a lot of the Red Dead Two cast. We all we're on a text like a mass text chain, and we're in touch almost on a daily basis. <sighs> yeah, and it's uh, it's always really cool well, to keep up with them. Okay. Yeah. 
exciting what things going on. The doctor said you'd be fine. Exciting you things going on with a lot of those people. Mm -hmm. so, Definitely. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Uh, yes, I can swim. By the way, Did you want to die? in real life, I, mean, I can it? swim. Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Oh, my goodness. Miss Bonnie McFarland. It's crazy to say, is it? Maybe right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. So what were you doing? You're trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know That's Bill so Williamson? Weird. Knew him. What's All weird time. about it? Well, what was he like? Well, I mean, I guess no. just knowing, just knowing, like, like I said, what it looked like to me is so different than what this <laughs> looks like that. now. And I so have. by the time we, we shot Red Dead 2, you could look at a screen, what there would be monitors um, on the floor yeah, where, where you could see kind of the environment. Guy, you could see the, well, yeah. the inside of the house or whatever. Quite like heroic, just and, like and this, when we were doing this, you didn't have that. You, you couldn't Meanwhile, see really much of anything. Me, I've got a ranch to and so you course, just if you're feeling imagine better, whatever was in your mind you and did perimeter. what you did with that, you, you know, that and then uh, doctor's bills. Of course. And thank now you can see so much more. And it, and it makes it, Next time, I guess it makes it easier to know, you know, kind of where you're moving around. Not that it changes much, I guess, really, but you can see more than for this. I had no idea. In fact, I didn't even know what John looked like. I didn't even know what he looked like until I saw the first trailer. So there were so many unknowns, but also like, I didn't need to know. I didn't need to know. So it, it's just wild how all this stuff looks when you're when you're actually in production and you're on the stage and you're doing it. But even so even weird. even look at this tree, right? The the shadow effects. This is twelve years ago, and and look at the shadows on on him bouncing off right realistic shadows yeah. like that it's just yes and even That's just so as wild. he walks you can, you can see footprints and you can see dust going off i don't know if you guys can see that um yeah. i'll show you another part when he if he walks through this little grass it moves see that it's just so many little details that i nerd out at personally but see see if you just walk through here it just starts to move yeah look at that wild Marston, back in the land of the living i see figured it's about time i started paying back that 15 dollars well no time to waste the horses are saddled up over here <laughs> yeah. fun fact bonnie was next to you in the train at the start she sure was yeah. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, <laughs> great, great, great riding. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. And this is this is all this is how you do a tutorial as well because what what you don't know as a player is that Rockstar are actually showing you how to play the game while getting you into the story. So now you're riding a horse, now you're shooting, you know, you're slowly learning the mechanics of the game and you don't even realize. To your right is the general yeah. store. You and that's how you do a tutorial. Fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. I wonder if everyone can hear the chicken, my chickens outside right now, and they think that they're in the game, but they're actually... <laughs> they're actually the ones in here. Here's the corral. It's open for the horses. the window here. Think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get No one trusts you, First Rob. impressions are hard to no. break. No, why? Why? Seems like a nice enough guy, right? I mean... <laughs> Don't think we've seen him smile yet. I'm not sure we will either. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. What's going through your head watching this, Rob? That's from Linebacks. Oh my goodness. So many things. I mean, I guess 
I get I did get this far when I when I played it myself. I did okay. get this far. I know. So okay. it's just hard to It's hard to hear it. That's the barn over there. Paul built Thank it you himself when weird, I was just weird. a little girl. As in it's do you sort of cringe hearing your own voice? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Right. And yes. But you know what? There were times, you know, and I'm sure in in Red Dead Redemption, but definitely in Red Dead Redemption no Two, me, where I would Barlow. I would hear them play back something that we recorded, and I would say, "Can I, can I please try that again? I know I can do well, that better." Are we going inside? And then I would do it again, and it would sound exactly like it did the first. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I can't do it. <laughs> it's just, oh man. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Did the actual did the actors ride horses at all, Rob? We did for uh, Red Dead Mr. Redemption. Marston, we Mr. had a horse. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having in there uh, for one day that, that I was aware of. And Will they put markers on half of its body. Sure. Because that's all they needed. They could just mirror right image now. the other half. But the stage was it's so small that you couldn't get it to run. No, you could out. get it to walk. The country is really beautiful um, around this time. But so Marshall Johnson, is that his name? The Marshall Ready, in this Mr. game Marston? that we're going to meet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anthony DeLongis played that character. And that guy... Is it true? He's like a real cowboy. All the gun twirling and all of that cool stuff. Oh, he can he do it. One. Yeah, he did it. So they mo capped him doing that. Um, he got on the horse and made it rear up. And uh, he's also really, really good with bull whips, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They didn't use in the game, but he's on Mythbusters. Show oh, really? The bull whip. Yeah, this guy is awesome he is so awesome and he was he really good for a lot of reasons because he's like a, he's like a real cowboy real yeah. one so yeah he was he had a lot of valuable information thank you mr Martin. yeah that's very I valuable on set someone's along with me i feel a lot yeah, happier now i got a rifle well with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition oh, we should goodness. make quite a team with my feminine right. intuition how, and this game looks great at night too, by the way, with the moon. Look at that. Yeah. Ah, we're about to shoot some rabbits. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Yeah, you're right. You do. You just learn. How to get through it all. You just learn how to sh now you're learning how to shoot without even knowing. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. It's just so well done. Look at that little bunny go. Yeah. <laughs> and again he puts the he puts the gun on his back, so if you watch, he takes it out, puts it back, and then if you want to use the pistol. He takes the pistol out. A lot of games will just, the weapon will appear out of nowhere um, because it's just too much rendering or Let's there's too many going. weapons, but not in, not in a Rockstar game. There was, uh, speaking of cameos, I did a if cameo for this woman cattle, who, um, I think it was her crops. husband that had, had gotten it for her, but like she, this. Maybe you should move to got into set. playing Red Dead Redemption lady, and least. really enjoyed it, and apparently at some point Damn killed a back. whole pack of wolves with a knife them, because Martin. she didn't know that Jeez. she could change her weapon. <laughs> really? Yeah. How and funny. I, yeah, I just thought, oh my goodness, she's about like me. I mean, she she enjoyed it, but it was like she didn't know she didn't know that she could change from a knife to a gun or, you know so she anyway that was a really funny deal but. oh he's got a chicken look see that oh. 
My goodness, is the chicken gonna get back up and walk off, or is it dead? Uh, it's gone, Rob. Unfortunately, it's gone. It's a goner. It's a goner, man. But we got oh, the coyotes. No. Let's just take a look at this chicken. Yeah, he's he's no good, unfortunately. Sorry about that, Rob. You can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Chicken. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky. <laughs> Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, but somebody's asking about Spider Madison. We'll do whatever we can. Oh my goodness, to help. yes, Spider was sure so that, awesome. McCormick. Spider was uncle in Red Dead Redemption. Here we are. And one of the coolest, coolest people you could ever know. Really? He was named Spider. Yeah, he, he was this little guy. And Thank he was help, uh, just a really friendly, cool life. guy. And apparently the, 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 the reason he was Good called night, Spider McCormick. is because he was kind of a loner. And uh, uh -huh. was hanging out like by the beach, I guess. And a bunch of Hell's Angels pulled in on their bikes where he was. And... He didn't run off. He just kind of hung out. And one of them almost got bit by this giant spider. And Spider Shit. went over there and, and picked it up and moved it away so it wouldn't get him. And they all fell in love with him and named him Spider. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, he um, unfortunately for Red Dead 2, was, was not able to, to play the role. And I don't know exactly why, but... Such right. a cool, cool guy. Yeah, and it said on the on the question, hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing well, too. I, I, I have no idea where he is, but I, he was a great, great guy. So do you have an outfit like this, Rob, at home, what we're seeing here? Do I? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't. I got a cowboy hat. That's you got that hat. It. That's about it. You don't have any gold, gu gold rifles? I don't have. I have right. uh, actually... Uh, I was given a Colt 45, which is really cool. Whoa. Uh, Ken Palco. And he's on he's on social media. Kenny's Custom Props, I think. You'll oh, know okay. it when you find him. He's done so many cool, cool movies where he makes all the props. He's awesome. Check him out for sure. Instagram. Um, he's busy all the time, too. Hollywood loves him. Hollywood. Can, yeah. Yeah. He can what do about it all. This, but um, this outfit, Rob? You got one like this at home? <laughs> I could try to put something like that together, maybe. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my uh, goodness. I can't remember the last time I wore a suit. It's been probably so a wedding day, hey? Yeah. Probably was. <laughs> that was 11 years ago now, or whatever it was. Oh, really? Yeah. How long have you been with your wife for? Uh, probably 13 years now. Nice. Yeah. We were one of those couples, though, like when we were just dating. We were, because we're both like real passionate and real strong minded. So we would we would be together and it would be so great. And then something would happen and then break up, get out. And then we'd get back. And then we'd oh, break okay. up. Oh, right. Marston. <laughs> you one of those, yeah. Yeah. And then we got well, married, so there's no breaking up. You. We, well, just, I'm fine. we just fight it out, and then we get over it. So, uh, <laughs> and then we fight it. <laughs> uh, a little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Oh, Good. my goodness. Uh, yeah, we're still in, married, though, in. aren't we? You know, you never did tell me how you met that. Any, any, um, what you wanted from any connections between no Bonnie mess, and your wife? Well, any similarities? Oh, I certainly don't, mind I don't know. I, don't I guess there probably would be if I really think about it. But. <laughs> it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Didn't know what that word meant, course, reticence. I, I was about to say, what does it mean, Rob? Don't know. I don't remember now, but I remember asking, uh, what is that? Is it reticence? There were several words, but I'd say, am I even pronouncing this correctly? I have no idea what it means. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats. Oh, so I'm she did see soon. him. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Jesus 
Balalestros. Thank you so much for the 20. Rob, if you can't say, just act natural. Red Dead 3, a sequel, Young Jong. The events during the formation of the group. What do you think? <laughs> Red Dead 3. I think I think you're in for a Red Dead 3. Uh, so I, I I would imagine so. I don't I honestly don't know. And I I mean I would want that. I want that of course. And you know what? The chances are I I probably would not be part of it. I mean maybe I, I don't know how they would do it what the story would be, but if they did another prequel, John would be even younger. And I, I don't know that a younger John would sound exactly three. like I sound. I, who three, knows? But I still one, think that people would love it go. if they did it. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. Oh, we're riding her now. I'm going to beat her in a race. You got a race. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. The Whoa. horse just. The horse just said, "Oh, that's enough, Dan. You've pushed me too far, and now I'm falling behind." <laughs> Shit. See this? You got to control. You, you can't whip it too much. You can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that with the uh, stamina, right? You got to, you got to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't remember it. Let's go. Tell so this person. Uh, Let's go. Hey, Rob, Are if they don't include you in. Help? In Red Dead, two, Red Dead Three, I'm gonna stop eating baby. Come on, boy. Hey, man. Try to stay with what? me now. Just don't. Just be easy on the threat for now. Just be easy. Let's see what happens. Don't go don't, easy. Don't say you're gonna stop eating babies. If we all know you're not gonna stop, just take it easy. As much as I love that line, man, he must be sick of hearing that line. <laughs> no. Nah, of you can, not. No. Nah, you can't be, you can't be sick of it. It's a brilliant. It's so funny. It's so fun. I it's, mean, you yeah. know. Oh my goodness. So unfortunately, this this version of John's horse riding needs a bit of work. Unfortunately, Rob. What do you mean? Are you saying that because you're not winning? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's hard though, isn't it? You gotta. Well, you know, I haven't played this game in five years, so let's let's cut me some slack, all right? Uh, oh well, you. I'm telling you already, you've done so much better than I would have ever done. There she is. You're gonna catch her. And this is kind of. I remember this too. This is kind of a long distance that you're right. Or yeah. Kind of Do you know what, what's, I don't know if you remember the scene where the song Far Away plays as you're riding through the mountains. Do you, do you I think I got that far. Oh, I love that. I love that scene. Go. Try to keep up, will you? People will know it, what I'm talking about. You still think you're going to win this, don't you? Well, I got her at the end. Yeah. And if you yeah. don't, you race her again, right? That is that what happens? Uh, listen. Come on, easy up now. I don't know. Maybe. Guys in the chat, then, do we? Do, if we lose that, do we race her again? That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. I love the writing for for John. Everything's just so. Oh, we got our first glitch, guys. You see that horse there? Oh, there's no one on it. There's no one on it. I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> he wants to go. This one's like, nah. You can do that yourself. What in the world? I love that. Hold on. Now we're better. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> um, oh, Mr. Marston, how we'll are get to you? these super chats Good, in a Mr. second. Farland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. 
course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> there we go. There's the first smile and laugh. Up, Didn't take too long. You grumpy sucker. Get over it, John. Get over it. And um, I think they're starting to build a connection now, these two. Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see why people thought they were going to be considering you were almost together, no doubt. Yeah. A couple days ago. Yeah. I have you at to this, thank that. At this point, John hasn't Can even mentioned me, have you needlessly risked that he's got a wife. No. It. No, miss. I have not. Well, Is that a bit dodgy? Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, What's that? Hope, I Marshall. said, is, is he, is he be being a bit dodgy? Kind of country if you don't well, I mean, that. kind of, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, John. So. What are you doing there, fella? I can't there, think of fella? any other way to stay safe, know. Frank. What about you? Have you ever given up I would imagine together? that if really I had spent several really nights at another woman's ranch, whether it be in a guest house or not, and I talked to my wife and she said, well, so what is... What did you tell her about me? I haven't, I haven't mentioned you yet. Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't go down well. I think you'd have one of those fights again. Oh, man. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish. Yeah, John, you better speak up, man. Hey, someone in the chat said these horses are crazy. I agree. I'm just seeing this AI for these horses. They're, they're all over the shop. Pretty good draw distance for a 12 year old game. You can see the mountains pretty far ahead there. See the town. Yeah. You know, I. I oh, excuse me. Pardon me. No, but you, when I talk with people, you know, at conventions or wherever I am where I can actually have a conversation with people, and, and I ask them, have you played both games? And sometimes people will say, yeah, I have. And then other times people say, no, but I want to play Red Dead. And I said, well, I hope that you enjoy it. It's got a great story. And I always kind of feel like because the graphics and because you're so, you're able to interact with so many things in Red Dead 2 that people are going to play this and, and kind of be bummed out that it doesn't look very good. But it, you're right. It actually does look really good, doesn't it, still? Well, you know, Red Dead 2 is one of the best looking games ever made. So, but, uh, and that's, yeah. I, I, that's really kind of all I have to compare it to, but reference wise, right? I know what Red Dead 2 is. No, no, yeah, yeah. But no, this is, as, as we said, this is holding up quite well. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on lazy a hard day. Lazy as a lizard on a hard day. I like that line. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. So I think a few people might recognize Armadillo if you've played the second game. Most important thing for you right now if you haven't played the first, I'm saying. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. So there's a question about the uh, James McBride, uncle's yeah. current. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, and then also John John O'Cray. So both both of those guys actually did performance capture for Uncle. And uh, John, oh goodness, John passed away during the production of Red Dead 2. So, oh no. Yeah, and he was a great guy. There's actually a tribute to him. There's O'Cray's pass in Red oh, Dead 2. Of course, too. yeah. Yeah. But all, so all of the singing that you hear Uncle do in Red Dead 2, that's actually John singing it. And wow. then all, all of the uh, other performance is, uh, is James. And uh, wow. it's just one of both of them great people. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. 
<laughs> yeah, you buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Cracking jokes. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches. See, again, we're still learning things while we're progressing through the story, meeting characters, rather than just dumping all the information to you at once. Um, you're the voice of my childhood hero, Rob. Love you from Erdman. <laughs> Thank you, man. I know you hear that a lot in childhood. Now, it probably makes you feel old. You're not old. I'm just going to tell you that. But it, it is still special to hear that, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt. It's, um, again, you know, and, and you know what's so cool, too, is that I hear a lot of people say that, um, you know, my, my dad and I really bonded over this game, or my whole family would sit down and enjoy watching whoever was playing play this game because it's, it's kind of like a movie and it's so pretty and it's and it's really really easy to get sucked in and enjoy it and i thought i've always really enjoyed hearing that because you know yeah you you want you want to have bonding moments with your with your parents and your family members and sometimes as as time goes on it gets harder and harder to find things that everybody can be interested in so it's always really nice to hear that that's happening too Oh, and it's happening often. I think it's awesome. We're not going to play poker at the moment. Maybe we'll come back later. But even this, look at this, this guy playing the piano. Got to love that. Watch yourself, man. Watch yourself. Remember that, those pickup lines you do? They're all in the booth, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, the majority yeah. of them for sure are. Yeah. Jesus says, what's your favorite? Now, I have no idea what he means by that. Um, let's just go with your favorite character from Red Dead 1. Oh, my gosh. So many great ones. I, I will say that uh, I really, really enjoyed... And I, and I hate to say, like, single out one because then it makes it sound like the other no, one. No, we love less, them all. But, not. Yeah. But <clears throat> Seth... Seth, Excuse the me. grave digger, was hilarious. Hey, hey. I, and so Kevin Glickman is his name, and Kevin is hilarious. And then Seth, the way that he did that, I, up, I just you? really enjoyed it when he was there. And yeah, what you want? Made it my so much John fun. Marston. Oh my goodness! You to speak to me. I did. I really wish I remembered really his so. name. Such a cool, Why? cool guy. So this guy. I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Yeah, him. Guys, what's Jesus. his name? My goodness, I, you that I really wish I knew. Company. Jonah. We can find Go out. Jonah? Mercer. Yeah, Marcia. I think it is Jonah. Go on, They're Jonah. Williams and boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? This is a great scene. I agree. <laughs> Everyone's spitting everywhere. You got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots. I got a cool, Marshall cool story about him, though. Jonah, put your gun down. It is Jonah, yeah. Good pickup, whoever that was. You must be the man from Blackwater. And that's Anthony DeLongis right there, the monster. Yes, yeah. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. He's Brad Carter boy. is his I'm name. Get out of here for a minute. Brad, yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. You, you got to check out his resume. Oh, I didn't see also, a year hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's oh, some so cool. Man. This isn't his um, voice in real life, is it? Party he's putting it on. <laughs> he's from. I think he's from Alabama, so from I think he might have quite an accent. But he Here's was in something. Kill Bill he had a role with a in a McConaughey movie or something. You have to look him up on IMDb. But okay. So many of these people me? that I worked with have such cool, cool resumes. In the next mm -hmm. um, Anthony DeLongis, Marshall, you definitely need to check him out. Course, He's got Bill awesome Williamson stuff all over the place. But Brad, from my town. Brad, at a certain point, had so brain you know, surgery. Out there. And what? I don't know why. I, I think there's a YouTube video of it, my though, because he's a guitar player. And he played his guitar 
hard enough. While he was having you brain know, surgery, and you can watch it. I hear you speak. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm That's reminded insane. now. Sorry? What? Yes. Yes. Jeez. Brad. Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends. Brad and I were together on the day where we showed up. There were three or four of us that were there on the very first day we showed up on set where we were given our non disclosure agreements. And we signed them. And then we were told what it was that we actually had booked. But he was one of the very first people that I met. Why, working happened? on this stuff and just a cool right cool now, guy i got the railway the people who pay my salary trying to get me to turn the blind eye to them burning down cell anthony up there love it i got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near box canyon need shutting down not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country and i got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon drunk threatening to shoot up the whole town that's all i got today but it's early yet give me a couple more days there'll be more all right tell you what Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? <laughs> Only when things matter. <laughs> You're you know a persistent what, little cuss. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. I remember when we were shooting that scene. Where, where John says, I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. Sure. I said, I'm here to capture. I kind of like flubbed the line, honestly. I'm here to ca capture or kill. I don't remember how I flubbed it, but that sound of the door shutting, they made that sound over my flub. So they kept it, but fixed it. Ah, right. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I mean some yeah. of I'm sure it's on YouTube. You can find it pretty That's an easy. But yeah. Because I remember that. I'm sure we did more than one take, but I remember we would do takes however many times it took. In Red Dead Redemption, for whatever reason, from the beginning to the end of what, you know, cutscenes or anything that you where you walk into the X, right? And you have yeah. that. Yeah. Those had to be all in one take, and it wasn't the first take. It could be the fifteenth take, but go, everything had to be right for within Damn, that take. For whatever ah. reason, they couldn't, they couldn't. They couldn't pull from take two and add it to take three. It all had to be done the way that the director wanted it done. So, um, right. It would be. Sometimes, you know, there would be lines that I would have trouble with. At the very beginning of the scene, or maybe they would be towards the end or wherever, but I would think, all right, just get through that line. Just get it. Stay it. And then I would get down towards the end, and I'd think, he's going to take this one. And then I would forget the very last word I was supposed to say or something. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. But I mean, you know, it, as time went on, Close you got, start. you just got better. Yeah. You got better at it. And, uh, of course, still yeah. had days that weren't great, of course. Do you but think, I how much it. of a better actor do you think you were by the end of Red Dead 1 from the start? I, I, I want to tell you, you know, I took acting class. I took an acting class when I lived in L.A. And, of course, I learned things. But... Like working the with other house. actors let's hold up a minute you learn so much horses. you learn so much by so working up. with people and being in scenes and and having directors giving you notes on the, in the moment and trying to make adjustments and doing the things that it takes to shoot something you learn like so coming, much better boys. doing the actual work i think than than I, the, for me anyway than i ever would in a class and I yeah. don't know if it was a, a mindset thing or whatever, but I would like to think that I got better as time went on. Of course, I would like to think that I got better, but I know that I learned a lot more throughout the process by working with these other actors. And I was really, really entertained throughout the entire process because these people all seemed like, it seemed like they knew what they were doing. Well, you, did you feel like a bit of an imposter? Yes, yes, yeah. no doubt. And also, I didn't know I, I didn't know the story. Neither did anyone else. So it wasn't like I had an unfair disadvantage. Nobody yeah. knew the story. It just, it, to me, I thought, 
you guys are do, you're doing it. And I would, learn, you know, like, yeah. learn and pick up different things from each one of them. Joe Ackman, who, the professor in this game, I, I had several conversations with, with him about how you taught, you taught me so much by the way that you played this character. And, yeah, it's one of those things where, I, again, so fortunate to be in a situation where I was given the opportunity. Whatever I did in the audition that made him want to choose me, thank God I did it because I I learned so much that I never would have known if I didn't do this these games and get these. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? Experiences. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. So like the horses. And I think probably a lot of people know this, but the horses that we would use, he was sitting on a fake horse when we shot that, but it was really a 55 gallon drum turned on its side and yeah. held together with, with pipes and two by fours, but it did have an actual saddle on it. So you could climb up and, you know, mount the horse and dismount, I think, whatever. Uh, but, correct me if I'm wrong, they have mechanical horses now. They're like, did Red Dead 2 have a mechanical horse or is that only a recent thing? Because I saw someone on a mechanical horse this year for mocap. Oh. Yeah, I didn't ever experience that. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, it might but, be a new thing, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, anything to add the realness to it, but... Do people n notice your voice in public? That's from Bill Baxter. Bill! Bill! Um... I don't know. I mean, it's hard. It's hard for me to know, actually, because I live really kind of in the town that I grew up in, which is a really small town. And I yeah. think that, you know, people, we all kind of know each other anyway. <laughs> it seems like, I mean, I'm, I Isn't know we that don't small of a town. It. Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's not. I say that, I guess I, people don't, um, if they do, if they do recognize my voice, people don't ask me are you the guy i just yeah. heard you talking that doesn't happen um i think now you know like because i grew up in this in this small town and because i have a, a decent following on instagram and TikTok and whatever social media stuff i think people may recognize me actually like me from that from the videos that i posted and then yeah uh that that may be something too, but no, I mean, no, I don't, if I go to a convention, like let's say I go to Philadelphia and uh, I go into a, a mini mart or something to grab some things to, you know, snacks or whatever. Someone there, I at one point, where, wherever it was, it may have been Philadelphia, but said, are you, oh my goodness, are you the guy? And I said, yeah, man, nobody's ever, nobody has ever said that to me before i remember this conversation he said so wow. you're here for the convention he knew i was coming though because he yeah. was going to the convention so he's okay. like, yeah, I'll see you there. So otherwise though no no i don't wow. think that's ever happened i don't think so but <laughs> who knows if i live somewhere else where do you I think people are a bit shy know. as well <laughs> maybe i maybe that's part of it but i think t you know like Hello. Um, I, I mean, Hello. I don't know. I don't know Armadillo seven, three, like, one. what what is it with these things? It's hard if, because John, you know, you like lying. you hear that voice, Hello. but it's a video Hello. game and it's like a whole different Sounds world, strong. right? Mm. So if I, no if I was in real life talking yeah, to some, someone who didn't expect, suddenly the world is full they of might, they might, I don't know. I don't know. It would be like looking at, I don't look like John. So maybe that would throw people off and they wouldn't. Now guys think of it, maybe, I don't know. Excuse me, with the coffin. Excuse me, boy, for me. Hello? You're right, man. I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Hey, Rob, you need to post more on Marshall! TikTok. I love it, from Muhammad. <laughs> Marshall. Muhammad, thank you. I've just been up in the canyon. I've probably... I told him to, Muhammad. He won't listen to me. No. He's actually got a, a he's got a job that he has to do. Like he, yeah. it's not like you're lying around. Uh, no, well, and it's, I mean, it's always fun. It's a time thing. 
this guy too. So they're getting ready to remake. Even worse than your They're getting ready to remake. Uh, what is it? Um, the fighting movie. Uh, dang, God, I want to say Animal House. It's not Animal House. It's uh, Patrick Swayze. Um, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Dang, yeah, Same yeah. With Conor McGregor and uh, I can't remember who else. Yeah, Conor McGregor is an interesting choice. Yeah, right? Mm. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure it'll be great. But that guy, that other deputy, he was in the original Roadhouse. And we had fun talking about that. He worked with Swayze. Oh, I don't work for the government, Marston. I don't work for the government. What did you remember what he said about them? Federal clouds and black water. Oh, he said, it was, he said the whole experience was really awesome, but also kind of really rough. I guess would, of course, they would choreograph these fight scenes and stuff, but if you watch Roadhouse, people are getting thrown and the tables and bottles broken over their heads. And he said there were a couple times where it actually would turn into really kind of a real brawl. Like someone would get nicked or something, you know, and it was, then a fight would happen. <laughs> Down, Listen to your boy. Right. There's a good boy. Otherwise, you know, but yeah, he had great stories and he was awesome. Tiny brain drain out. Yeah, if you look, I mean, if you look up yeah. some of these people, I'll be honest with you, Mark, you're gonna it's recognize. It's incredible what they've done. Yeah. 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 Believe me, Marshall. Like um, Ben, who plays Dutch, he's gonna be in the Borderlands I mean, movie with a big cast. Well, I think Eli Roth, or so, who is it? Oh my like, goodness, yeah. There's a big cast, yeah. Big you guys can check that out. Yeah. There. yeah. Ben's been busy. Ben's got some exciting stuff coming up. And he's I, working I, on a big game, I think. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I, I won't say any more. But, um... <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, be, be, exci be excited about Ben. Ben's got some good stuff going on. So we yeah. should all be happy to get it. I did just get uh, a question that I saw about concrete. How's the concrete work going? And it's good. Uh, thanks for asking. It's. Um, Let's move up the canyon. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do it forever. My body hurts. Be ready, boys. If you do Probably concrete, you know what I'm number. talking about. It's it's uh, whatever. Like anybody either. can do it. Anybody can do are. it. I promise you that. Alive, it's just hard work, and after a while, it takes a toll on you. But um, what's the main thing is pouring it? Is that what you're doing, or? Yeah, well, we form we form it all up. We put fill in. We put wire down or rebar or whatever. You know, we do the whole thing the from whole the thing, beginning yeah. to the end. And yeah, the most strenuous part probably is pouring it because you have to get it all flat and and it's heavy, isn't it? Look heavy to move. And you have to rake it, Run and it then but then then when you're finishing it, you have to slide around on your hands and knees and or crawl around the edge, and it's just. Getting too old, man. It's a young man's game. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm gonna start cutting grass. I think that's what I'm gonna do next year. Is I'm gonna cut grass and start a service. I'm going this way. I'll Arson. cut your man, grass. Man, if, if I if I lived in Indiana, man, I'd hire you in a second. Thank you. Yeah, you really made me do that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um. Rob, have you ever played the entire Red Dead 2 story? That's from Zane. Zane, no, I haven't. I did get through That's chapter one, one, though. I got through chapter one. It, it took me, it took me so long because, like I said, I'm, t I'm just so bad with the, with the controls. I'm, I, I don't know how to do. I can't keep it together, and I, and I get really frustrated by that. So, it's. Yeah. Um, it became, there was a uh, a week or so, I don't even know if it was this past winter or the winter before, where it got so cold and we got so much snow that we just didn't work for like a solid week. And uh, I, I had some time then, so I played Red Dead 2. Are you kidding me? And I got through the first chapter. I, I remember trying to go further and then just started getting busy again and, and couldn't stay with it. But... By the way, a nice little detail here is um, when the blood's fresh, if you walk over the blood, you have bloody footprints for a little bit of time yeah. there. See that? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And then it wears off. Yeah. And it wears off, yeah. Um, yeah, so you pretty much you, you gave it a crack on both games, but you... 
succumb to the controller. The controller's yeah. might. Yeah. That guy said, I'll kill the hell out of you. <laughs> so I think for the for these sort of bandits, they just get a bunch of actors in to do a bunch of voices, don't they? Because they did the same for Red Dead 2. Yeah, I, the cat, the list, if you watch the closing credits for Red Dead 2, I think it takes like Oh man, minutes. that's unbelievable. That car, that, the amount of credits on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do, they go to full extent to make sure that it's no overlap. Which everyone appreciates, I know. Uh... Oh yeah. my goodness, so, so Muhammad says, uh, trust me, I understand I have a visual impairment that made the thing even harder, but I got through it and I'm currently on my 10th playthrough. Wow. Oh my god. That's awesome, man. That's a super fan. Enjoying it. I don't think, I don't think I've played a game 10 times, not one game. So, congrats. Here's another yeah. detail. The the um see how it moves, the physics. I mean this to you, Rob, this is like what is this guy talking about? But not many games even go to this this little detail, see. You could probably yeah. shoot this bucket off, yep. See? It's all interactable. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh thank you so much, Nat, for the ten dollar super chat, no question. Um, Kapool, thank you so much for the 20. There was no question there either. We really appreciate the support though. Thank you so much. Brian, I'm not sure if you two discuss this, but would you be interested in playing the Undead version around Halloween time this year, Rob? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely be interested. For sure. This is, uh, I wonder how many... How many people that are here now? Have you played this game, or are you watching this for the first time yourself? Is this yeah. all brand new to you? You might as well give it up now. Is this brand new, or have you seen it before? A one in the chat if you've played the game, and a two if you haven't. Let's make it simple: a one if you've played the game, and a two if you've never played it before. We're coming in hot now. Coming in hot? Yeah. A bit of both, or...? I'm guessing yeah, a lot of ones? A lot of ones, yeah. A lot of yeah. ones. So, check it out. 100%. No. See, a lot of people... I think a lot more people have played too, obviously. Yeah. And all the twos on there are the original gangsters, aren't they? Huh. Come on, you cowards. Yeah, a lot of twos. So there is a lot of twos that haven't played it. More like that, Martin. Okay. That's interesting. Good to yeah. know. And to be fair, you know, there's probably hey, some people that weren't alive when this came out, uh, Rob. Like, it is 12 years ago, and, like, there's a lot of gamers around 14, 15, 16 that were only four. Yeah, they probably yeah. weren't allowed to play at that time, so... No, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that, yeah. Even I, I was... When this came out, I was a teenager. But, um... I actually didn't play this game when it first came out. I played it a year later. For whatever reason, I don't, I don't know why. You want to know something cool? Yeah. So, when this game came out, it was released on whatever day. I, I knew the release date, um, and I've got a friend who's a big gamer, and he was really excited to go get the game. So he said, "I'm gonna go at midnight oh, and get nice. it." Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, cool, man. I'll go with you because I want to see what that's like. What, I want to hear what people are talking about because nobody knew anything about it, right?" Everybody knew they had seen the trailers, and, but there had never been. I guess there was um, Red Red Dead Revolver. Revolver, right? yeah. Was, 
So this was like something different. Though. Anyway, I stood in line outside of a GameStop in Los Angeles, and it really thought that was so cool, you know. And I thought, this is this is really like nobody gets this experience, and I'm can, so glad I'm doing it. Can you hear this music, by the way, Rob? I mean, yeah. this is such a great track. It does kind of get you fired up, doesn't it? Oh, you and it's so well paced. Just as the fight's coming to a climax, this epic song comes on. Yeah. Gotta love it. Where is this bastard? There he is. Got him. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank Do you remember you. that actor? <laughs> thank you so much. Well you done, can't, Mr. Surely you don't remember that. Yes. Well oh, done. I don't remember that. Uh, now, <laughs> about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. No, oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> oh, man. You don't have any cows, do you? No, we don't. No. Um, you got we dogs? Just, just, we've got three... We've got three dogs, and we're about to have four dogs, which is insane. But two two of our dogs are getting pretty old. And, yeah, uh, yeah. It's good to so have a we, bit of youth around. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. We, got a, we got a boxer puppy, and she is so awesome. But she's, so, she's like, so destructive right now because she's so wound up. But, yeah. Oh, I've is met it, her, guess, yeah. Last, when yeah. we talked the other day, yeah. June, she's so June. awesome. But, yeah. Um, so we we've decided that while she's still being destructive, and we know that we're gonna eventually get another boxer because we love him so much. Yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get it right now, and just let them both be destructive uh, together. Yeah. And so so you don't have out two two destructive at, at different times. Get them both destructive at the one. Yeah. Yeah. Just ruin our house, and then we'll be, <laughs> we'll be done with it. And then we'll fix everything and uh, move on. But uh, we're dog people. We're what, the, we're what do you, crazy what do you love people. about boxes? What? Oh, they're so they're very um, they're very expressive. You know, with their little square heads. They've got yeah. these eyebrows and their ears, and they're just so they're so funny. I mean, they're funny, and they're yeah. They're they're like it's. I, I've always had boxers, and for years we've had boxers. And uh, you know, before I even met my wife, I had two boxers. And it seems like they're always doing something really kind of silly, but they're yeah. so serious. They're so serious about it. The look on their face—they're <laughs> playful and fun, and, and they're you know they're good dogs. Uh, so they're, you got four? You don't have four boxers, do you? You got another no. type of dog, yeah. Yeah, we have a. One of our dogs is a golden retriever. And oh, you got a golden she, too. Nice. Yeah, she's great. She's she's really the sweetest dog in the world. But uh, they're good. Then we they? have. Yeah, we have another dog right now that's called a Danif, which is. Yep. I'm, I'm almost certain is a AKC. It's like a purebred dog now at this point because it was a, it was a great dane mixed with a bull mastiff yeah but i think it's now recognized as anyway she's she looks like a giant lab i mean some of them look more like a mastiff but she looks like a, a big black lab and she's really sweet but 
June, our boxer puppy is terrorizing both of them at the moment. So we need to get her somebody else that they can fight. Are each they other. getting annoyed? The other two. I mean, they did. They they both can hold their own still, but it won't be long. <laughs> it won't be long until she's way stronger than both of them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Um, a question here. How emotional were the scenes, some of the scenes to do from Red Dead 1 and 2, from Captain Bernard? Captain. Uh, some, I guess, obviously, the ones that you probably are referencing were very emotional. So, let me... <laughs> so, when, when we did Red Dead Redemption, and uh, I don't know, I mean... This game is so old. Do I need Excuse to give me, sir, spoiler alerts? I can't need that. Can I? Um, I don't think so. Nah. Yeah. Nah. You're all good. So, look at Nigel. No, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? Great voice he as well. He was so, so awesome. Um, <laughs> funny bloke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Time when when we did the, uh, I'll just call it the, the scene with, uh, so I don't give a spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah. Um, or don't give a spoiler alert. So, on, so Abigail and Come John, on. that was emotional. But I, I truly didn't know what was going on in that moment because we weren't given the entire script at once. We weren't. And what we were given wasn't in order. So... It was pretty early on when we filmed that. And uh, I, I did not know that that was exactly what it was. I was, right. I was so unfamiliar with how games work and like respawning and different things like that. I thought, oh, this must be like a big, a big thing right, right. now. But I didn't, know, I didn't know what it actually meant. But I knew that the way that Sophia who played Abigail in Red Dead Redemption, the way that she was handling it, she knew um, she, she knew what it meant. And um, yeah, it was it was pretty rough. It was pretty emotional. Yeah, um, I can imagine. But yeah, in Red Dead 2, there were a lot of things were, that were emotional there as well. But ultimately, I guess the one thing probably people are wondering, you're my brother. That was the very last thing that we shot for Red Dead Redemption 2, the very last performance capture scene that was that was done. So, did you cry at, th at that point, or you weren't that you weren't that emotional? I and, was, uh, I was. Well, it was a combination of what it meant because by then, Red Dead Redemption 2, we weren't given the entire script at the same time. Either, either. yeah, and it, it was shot out of order as well, so it was hard to piece it all together. But by then, we knew. We that knew what it. that scene meant. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, and we, yeah. Also, we knew that that was the last thing that we were going to do for performance capture. So after, for some people, five years of doing performance capture on this game, this is it. This is the very last bit. Well, for it. you, it was, was, how many years was it? Because you started on this game, did you say 2008? Yes, for yeah. this for this game. For this was, game. Uh, it might have been, too, well, actually, um, January, okay, so J Steve sent me another script as well from a different part. Okay. Um, and it says January 19th, but it doesn't say the year. So I don't know, I'd say that was probably 2008, because I don't think we started in January of 2007. But um, Yeah. I don't think anyway, the motion yeah. capture technology was was around till 08. I could be wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. It maybe was only not. new anyway. It was only new at the time, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it didn't, yeah, we didn't, we didn't take nearly as long to do all the stuff on Red Dead as we did on Red Dead 2. Yeah. Because the technology changed again, where now Arthur can move in and out of cutscenes. And, yeah. And Red Dead, you could skip the cutscene, but you can't. Once you're in it, you can't leave, right? You can't just walk away. So right, there were there were all right. kinds of like you know if John, if if Arthur is walking by and he sees a conversation happening, you can either stand there and listen to it or 
possibly interact with it or not. And and so you had to find like Rockstar, of course, they know that people are going to try to break the game, right? They're going to try and make it so they they can show, hey, you didn't cover this part. Look at this. this is part. <laughs> you know, you can do whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so they took a lot of time to try and make sure that every angle was covered and, and captured. And it took a lot longer. It did. It absolutely took a lot longer. But I'm sure even now, now whatever they're doing, they've got all that figured out as well how to how to speed through that process or at least not speed through it but to to make it so that they can control a lot of those things and not take as much time maybe they don't maybe it just does take that much time it might i don't know um but they get better the thing is go go ahead no 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 you go ahead i don't want to cut you the crazy thing is with the technology and how all that works, they, they, they are constantly trying to push the, the threshold. What, what is the threshold for this technology that we currently have? Mm. And they're trying to figure out how they can maximize whatever the potential is of it. And then they finally get to a point where they realize, okay, we passed it. And so then they come backwards and then they find that sweet spot. This, this is what we can do. But th they don't even know until nah. they do it. And it's amazing mm. for them to even, like, how do you, what, and then once you do find it, what, how do you know, like, <laughs> it's also, it's also <laughs> mind-boggling. It makes your mind go, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's sort of but like that TikTok you did where you're like, um, what was the one about those space images? You just can't oh. comprehend it, you know? <laughs> great as that. It's a great as that. It's a great as that, yeah. It's just crazy, yeah. Uh, Rob, you're awesome. Did you ever... Thank you. Did you ever see the epilogue for Red Dead 2? Um, I've, I've seen parts of it. Thank but you so much, Zane, part? for that, by the way. Thank you, Zane. Um... Yeah, it's it's um, a lot of this stuff I've seen on YouTube. And it's honestly, because I'll go to conventions and people will say, ask me questions. I won't know the answer. I won't know the answer yeah. because I'm trying to remember, trying to remember what it looked like when I, when I was working on it. Because yeah. some of it I hadn't seen. So I've, you know, I've seen a lot of this stuff now, but I'll get questions about things where I think I, do, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's another reason why we're doing this today. We want to, we want to refresh your memory and mine too, of this yeah. fantastic game. Let's can we just dissect this scene here? I think this is is our first time meeting Nigel or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. I got to take this hat off. Hurry, Put this sir. Back I'm bleeding yes, like a badly have. butchered hog. Badly butchered hog. hog. Just focus. Just focus. What are you, you so mad about, me. John? I don't think I'm strong enough. Oh, I'm How do you push him up there? Just sit they up had a wheel. They had a wheel. They, okay. had a wag they had a wagon wheel that had spokes on it, and they built what looked like the front of that wagon. It was it was that, but there I wasn't any back to it, whatever. But then it's supported by all these all these pipes and and straps, ratchet straps and stuff. And so, yeah, we did climb up and down on those things. And, uh, you know, like these guys that work on the set, they, they would build these things so quickly. Oh, they're, they're quick, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I'm sure that they're given, you know, like this is our, our stock order and we're going to try and stick to this as best we can. And, so they can plan ahead, you know, we gotta get these things ready, we gotta build this and that and whatever, but yeah. just a, a big open room that's perfectly flat. And uh, you know, they've got if you have to walk uphill, they would they would make these success. It was insane how they would build this stuff, but you would walk up and no idea. I think probably most people have seen what performance capture looks like now. You can look at it online and see what it all looks like. That's, that's what we saw. 
Graceless world, friend. Our makers so I'm, I'm reading some of these things, and one you know, question that I keep you. seeing, and, uh, and I'm so American sorry I haven't answered it yet, is, uh, and me. excuse me, Pain is playing rare habit with my he's talking about cutscenes, and who did the performance capture for it, John, or for it. Was it was it Roger or I? And uh, we both we both took turns. So he would do some, and I then would, would do uh, ADR and sound booth. <laughs> Excuse me. And then others he did uh, that, where I would do the performance capture. So it was tricky because yeah, like you said, one of the things said I I'm playing as Arthur, but he moves like John, and that's my fault because you would do these scenes. We had to memorize all the dialogue and really get into the scene and perform it as well as you can, but also try to be. Yeah. Where it's not, it's not definitely John. It could also be Arthur. So, like the way that we walk is different. The way that we move, everything. So it was tricky, and and hopefully we pulled it off. Where most of the time you can't, you can't tell. That's definitely Roger, and Rob did the, you know, voiceover for that part. Why but we stopped for? to just speed up the process as, as much as they could, we did that. And uh, we had two stages. We didn't the entire time. Um, at the beginning, we had one stage where we would do all these scenes. Then they realized we got to we got to figure this out. Dickens is dead. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm too busy listening dead. to you. I'm driving off road and he's dying so quickly. No, no, oh, I've got to stay on the road. <laughs> I forgot if you drive off road, he just he just for some reason he just doesn't like driving off road. He's, his health bar just goes down. Uh, but yeah, so they did. We did eventually have two. Two, two yeah. performance catch stages in the same building where we would be working on different things at the same time. Yeah. Which was, tr was tricky, and um, but it did speed the process up. Anyway, yeah, that's the answer. Both, both of us did it, and we did our best to not look like our character. But also be our character. Looks like you got them all. It's so wild. It's just, yeah, it sounds confusing, but it, it makes sense. Yeah. I saw What's one in here, um, good to see you, Mr. Marston. That was from K2U55. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. Good to see you, Mr. Marston. Good to see you too. So glad so many people are hanging out. This is awesome. But so, someone's saying the game is too loud. Too loud? All right. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm reading. Brutal. Yeah, I think it's when um, when a, in a scene like this it gets a little loud because of the. I'll just put it down a little bit, see if that helps. Question here from Connor. Hello from Vancouver. Has Rob been asked if he's ever been compared to Clint Eastwood as the man with no name? <laughs> Man, that would be quite the compliment. I, I don't know. I don't know that I ever have. I don't remember that happening. But um, thank you for asking. Really there. This is it. Then Eastwood. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a. A true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the <laughs> civility. I owe you, sir. Uh, and I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry oh for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for. Was he, a, was he funny, the actor who plays Nigel? Yes. So his name, I, and now I'm remembering, Don Creech. Don Creech. he is... He was wild, and you know, the, the, a lot of his stuff, it had to be just so frantic, and, and he had to spit yeah. so much stuff out at the same, it was wild, I mean, that's a true talent, to see someone be able to, to really get that into character and pull it off, it's amazing. And like I said, it had to be 
from the beginning of the take to the end, it had to be right. So what you're seeing him do, it was all one take. It's insane. Yeah. I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. Thanks. Uh, let's get another question here. Horizon Rover for the sheepdog. Am I missing? Is that a line? Or am I... Am I missing something, no. Rob? For the sheepdog. So. I've played through Red Dead multiple times since its release. I'm a huge fan from Jada. Thank you, Jada. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Rob, what's your favorite flower and favorite color? Come on. Love it. Um, I don't know. Um, you look like me. You look like blue might be your favorite color, Rob. No? I like blue. I do like blue. Yeah? I like blue and I like red. So I guess of it course. depends on what I'm looking at. Right? I'm, a, yeah. I'm a big fan of But I do like blue. I've always liked blue. Um, Apparently, if you see red, and my girlfriend was telling me this, and uh, if you see red, you're more inclined to to want to eat something, is what she was telling me. That's why, like KFC, McDonald's, all these guys have red in their logos. Because isn't it, that wild? Isn't it wild? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. There's so many that do. And you know, you associate healthy foods with green, the color green. Um, yeah. Blue is sort of a happy color, I guess. Um, red is also danger. So, the, yeah, I've gone off on a tangent here about colors, but. Um, oh, it's interesting, though. It really is. Yeah. So cool. What are you looking forward to most in Scotland, Rob? You going to check out any of the sites? Yeah, I mean, it's, so when we went to England, it was it was Roger and Peter Blumquist and I. Uh, we had a convention in Birmingham, Birmingham, Bur Birmingham. <laughs> Hold on, can we hear that again? Your English accent. Right. English accent. Birmingham. Birmingham. We went to Birmingham. Um, yeah. It's terrible. Isn't it? <laughs> no, that's then, not bad. That's not bad. And then we. Uh, <laughs> Then the next weekend we went to a place called Telford, and uh, haven't heard of that one. So, yeah, it, it, well, it was Wales Wales Comic Con, but it was in Telford, which is not actually in Wales. So who knows? I don't know why. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, but so so between those weekends, right? Mm -hmm. We stayed, we stayed out in the middle of nowhere in this place called the Brecon Beacons, and it was like. A, I guess it's a place where the military trains. It's like when we were there, it was really nice. And the place we stayed in was like a an Airbnb or a whatever you call that there. Verbo or what is it? Anyway, we rented this this house out in the middle of nowhere. And it was Roger and Peter and All Jeff in the Zanini. same house. Yeah, we had this, it was like a four bedroom house, whatever. We rented this place and we hung out. There was nothing out there besides sheep and there were sheep everywhere. So you but end it, up just knocking a few back, a few beers back yeah. or what? Yeah. Yeah. And at one point we went into, I can't remember the name of the city, but there was a, uh, there was a football soccer we call it soccer but football match yeah. between uh between i think wales and belgium okay it, it was a it was a uh, play in game for the world cup maybe i don't know but it was it was one of the coolest things i've never been to one of those and to go to one of those in europe and to be a play-in game for the for the World Cup, I think is what it was for that tournament. It was so like the crazy the people were crazy so, crowd. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it, was, it was amazing. I don't know. I don't really know much about the sport, and and but I was so fired up to be there because it was the, like when people say electric, it really we were just kind of like. Oh, 
<laughs> so were you getting the, were you getting involved, or what? Well, yeah, were I mean, you just taking it in? Well, I think mostly we were all just kind of we were just like, <laughs> wow, this is awesome. But you know, then yeah. Bel- uh, Wales actually won the game. I think Belgium. If it was Belgium, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. They were favorite. They were like the best team in, in the area, going? and Wales was it wasn't they like didn't have a chance, right? But they actually won the game, and it was it was right there uh, near Wales. So their fan base was huge. It was it was a really cool experience. But as far as as Scotland goes, I don't know I don't know the dates that I'm going to be there. I, I know that I'll be there for the convention, but I don't know if I'll be there a little bit before or stay a little bit after, or maybe both. Yeah. Whatever I can whatever I can manage. Yeah. I, I would love to. You know, it's you don't get the opportunity to go to such cool places, or at least I don't. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to spend some time and really check it out and, and take it in. You know. Um, and then you got to get to Australia eventually too. It's, I really would enjoy that. I'm sure. It's only a short flight. It's about a couple of hours flight. <laughs> it's not. It's not a twenty hour flight. Uh, oh my <laughs> I did, you know what though? I, one of my uh, from where I grew up, like when when I lived at home with my parents, yeah, her neighbors across the street, their son, and we're you know my dad and his dad both worked together, so we've we've known this family for a long time. But their yeah. son lives in Australia and works oh, on okay. the train system. Yeah, and so. Now, because they're both retired, his parents, they spend a lot of time in Australia, and they love it. And I think, yeah, I bet you do. I want to go check it out. I really, really do. Hopefully, we'll get there some, Martin, at some point. I've been hearing about your plan. <laughs> Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here. So, Belgium Delaware. was the fan favorite in that game. Um, People know what I'm talking about. Plans. It was awesome. See, I already have a life. Well... I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Who's this strange man? What you could say is Don't I had know. two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Call me Bonnie. <laughs> He's thinking McFarland. about it. Is he going to do it? I'm doing it. you go, John. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We don't know anything about her banks, daughter. Trains, His daughter. LG really? Ransom. We killed no. people we didn't like. Yeah. We still don't. Bill we still don't. Gang. Did they ever tell now, you anything? I capture my former brother in arms. No. Great harm will befall <laughs> my family. No. Nah. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting. To That's you. probably why he's so fucking cranky half the time. Why I wasn't so eager. I would be. No, I do understand. Yeah. I had no idea. This was what oh, shooting this was in this wild. Because again, it was from the really very play. beginning to the very end. And I don't know how I remembered all that stuff. The boat into New York. It was almost like you never saw his homeland, but you could hear him talk about hey, it. You'd imagine he Kevin Glickman, the guy who played Seth, I worked with he him early, early on. We still haven't seen him in the game because, again, it was shot out of order. But <clears> he was he was <throat> one that uh, suggested that I get the app on my phone where I could record. I think it comes just default on phones now that you have like a recording app. Yeah, yeah. But I think at the time he suggested record. My father died. Record yourself adult. saying the lines. Just read it. But don't just read your lines. You've got to read the whole page. Everybody else's lines, too, because if you only learn your lines, you're, first of all, not going to know what's going on in the scene, but also you're not going to know when to say what it is you're supposed to say. <laughs> yeah. So I did. I would sit there every night, and I would record the lines for the next day, and I would memorize only what I had to because it was so much. That I couldn't, I couldn't do more. Well, but I would record it, and then I would listen to it to see all that over and, and over and over again. Great man in a way. And that's how I learned my line. 
It's like this thing is still going. Yourself? It's still going. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Uh, this is one, one of those where I thought I'd get to this I'm point and say, just killer. finish it. Just don't mess it up now. <laughs> Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably going, yes, I got it. <laughs> That's you know point of the video. Like, yes, oh I got goodness. it. Uh, the, when, the, when the director who same director, Rod Edge, directed this, Undead Nightmare, Red Dead 2, and uh, you know, so many of the titles for Oh Rockstar he did Games. he did oh, he did Red Dead 2 as well. Same director. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Yeah, and G all of GTA. I mean, he's been their director for almost everything, I think, for a long, long time. You have Go. to verify that. But I know that he's definitely directed. Thank you for telling however, me. However, he that knows how many times. But he always. Sometimes he would so hesitate just for a second, but when he found the one that he liked, again, he'd say, yeah. "All right, well, take that." And he's British, so that's my. Again, I just tried to sneak in my terrible British accent but like when you got that take that it was like oh. <laughs> it was it was, it was a you, fun fun process but it was challenging and it felt like you accomplished something oh, when you got it you know yeah um and and what was amazing too is that like I said earlier we couldn't see this stuff. They didn't have the technology to show you what everything looked like yeah. then like they do now. So there was a big, almost like a movie theater screen. It wasn't full size. It was, I don't know if it was like a 22 inch or 22 foot screen or whatever it would be, but big enough that you could see it from the ground from a distance, but they would project the, what they could see up on this screen and so what you would see uh, you had the suit on you had the performance capture suit on and you had the little markers where they are on the suit those little reflective balls that the cameras see yeah and so those you could see the little balls so you could stand there and wave at this screen and you could see the balls on your arm waving back <laughs> uh, but you couldn't see the skeleton or anything else like that. You just saw the balls. So we would do these scenes, and the director was able to watch from the beginning to the end these little dots moving around on the screen, and he could envision right. what what it's going to be. Yeah, it, it must be tough from a cinematography point of view. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And what you know, another thing that he pointed out is like for the cutscenes and all the stuff that he did, he made sure that whatever angle you see is something that will be possible to be shot on film. So it's not oh, going to be like, yeah, I like that. Yeah, because you want the cinematic like on, sort of feeling. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And he said, you know, there was a lot of stuff that he he made sure of that was very important to him that maybe a lot of people don't ever ever even recognize but they can put yeah. that camera anywhere they want to yeah I know. yeah um but yeah wild you're not bad with the herd ranching might be your true calling mr marston so, yeah you just you're missed me shoot a chicken rob while you were talking i just roasted oh. a chicken <laughs> i'll see you later i have work to the ranch <laughs> yes <laughs> I'm so sorry about this cough. It'll be gone by the next time we do Let's this. Go. Uh, love from the Netherlands, Rob. Thanks for the live video. I really appreciate it. Playing Red Dead for the second time round now, and I'm still amazed by its awesomeness. From Matia Zua. God, I've, I've stuffed your name up. Sorry. But thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. I'd thank love to you. go to Thanks the Netherlands. I don't know about you. 
Rub? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anywhere, anywhere. One thing that I've really, really enjoyed is um, getting getting to travel to all these cool places. And li I was in Lithuania, which is insane to me. I, I enjoyed it so much. And I feel, I just feel like when you go to places that are new and unfamiliar, you learn so much about that place. Yeah. But you also learn so, you learn so much about yourself, too. And I love that. Really? I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's sometimes it can be intimidating and overwhelming because you don't know what to do. You don't know anyone, you know. You got to adapt, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like, I was in a castle in <laughs> Lithuania. I was on top. I was literally on the roof of a castle. And I thought, Mr. <laughs> this just doesn't exist. You? Anywhere in, you. in the United I'm States, it doesn't Thank exist. You. Did you it meet was my father? Thousands of years John old. Marston, this is Amazing. my father, Drew McFarlane. I remember this. Drew McFarlane. Please. Yeah. Wow. So he's uh my daughter informed. He does me a lot of commercials. He's probably got a great resume too, but he did, he does a lot, a lot of commercials. Something like that. I'll tell you what, he's got a mean I'm fucking mustache going there. Yeah, <laughs> Look at that man. thing. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> How do you grow something like that? Fuck. Oh, land had never been so. That's, that's, the, that's why he didn't catch cholera, though. He had that mask. <laughs> 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 we had outlaws. We had drought. We had smallpox. Terrible winters. Cholera. Man, you work with so many actors. Different right. actors. Crazy. Sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah. I've seen strong men wither and die. And really, and different energies from all of them, isn't it? Different, take sick and die. Different feelings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you notice though, so like listening to Drew, look at how much dialogue he has compared to John. So covertly, he's giving you information. You're learning about him. Yeah. John doesn't say a whole lot in this kind of stuff, which for me, like. And men like him are the so plan. many different actors and so many different Vinny energies, Dunkley right? But menace, I don't really give them much I mean. to work with because I just don't. Be right, because sir. look at that. You may be right, sir. You're now right he's going to go on again. You're for however long to keep... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got to be hard for these actors to be like, come on, man. Yeah, but you're give giving them energy with, with the... You're, you're giving them face acting. Spine, secret. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I... Preposterous. <laughs> Trust me, sir. I agree with you. See, that was a very, Good. that was actually really well done. The way you delivered yeah. that. No, it's. I don't really need. To, I don't really need to give you <laughs> props. Twelve years later, but no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so funny you're trying to make me feel better now. No, no. no. Whoa. Well. City dweller, that is. So funny. <laughs> but you did it. You actually said you nailed that line. Like honestly, man. I what do you want me to say? Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. But, but really, I mean, Good think about these guys. And some of, nobody's done performance capture before at this point. You know, people are walking in these spandex oh, yeah. suits. Yeah, so they're, on, they're, like, they're sort of uncomfortable, maybe. What am I doing? What is yeah. this? You know. And, you know, a lot of them, like, you say a lot of the people that are, that are tuning in right now, and I'm sure this is true, weren't old enough or maybe not even born when this game came out, right? Yeah. Well, you see, you got to think about all of us. Like, that, that guy, I don't know how old he is at all, but I would guess that when he when he was in there working, he was at least 50 or mid-50. Mm. If he ever played video games, it was Pac-Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably. Or yeah, like the yeah, games true. that were yeah. popular. Yeah. Oh, he's got no concept. This is a video game? Wait a minute. Like, what are you talking? You know, so mm. it's not like if you get in like to the what everybody's perspective of all this was, and they've got, like I said, they got the suit on. They're told to imagine this and that and whatever. And you're sitting in this house. You're gonna tell him all this information, whatever. And so that guy goes in and he does it, and he does it so well. That's really, really awesome, you know? I mean, and so for me, 
I'm seeing one after another all these people that are coming in having no idea what it is that they're doing and then doing it so well I learned so much just to go back to your question earlier but you're meeting a lot of people too I am yeah. well, definitely yeah but it was which is I mean it could you could see it as intimidating yeah well yeah definitely I mean there were people that would come in and, and this didn't happen often thank god but there were people that would come in that hadn't memorized their lines because they just assumed that oh. they were able to the read them really so, yeah that's a bit awkward learn, yeah like they had read through it they wouldn't be like they just looked at it the first time that morning if they had read through they didn't know they had to memorize it so like that I'm not saying that Drew McFarlane was one of the guys, but even if he was, you have to memorize and be able to perform all that stuff and take notes and, yeah. you know, all the stuff on the day. And some some people had to do that, and they pulled it off, which is amazing. Which is, I yeah. How. I don't know how, but they no. did. It's pretty, pretty They're pretty inspiring. talented. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Uh, we've got a question here. Rob, how is your Spanish in real life compared to John? I always like hearing John's Spanish lines, especially the gunfights from Rodolf Rudas. Thank you so much for the five. Yeah. Gracias, Rodolf. Necesito uh, más español, por favor. Muy importante. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> me com comprendo uh, poquito. <laughs> Come on then, let's see if you can get another one. Perfect. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, Rob. You didn't fail the Spanish. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. It's just I good timing. Work. Someone needs to clip that. Please. You got one! Hold on to him! I worked in a Mexican restaurant when I lived in LA. And, uh, I learned a lot of Spanish. I shouldn't say I learned a lot of Spanish, but I learned a good amount of Spanish a good amount. when, I, when yeah. I worked there. That's it! Hold it there! Oh, we had it there! Yeah. But, no, it's funny though. I'd learned enough to know. Uh, well, you know what? You heard me. I don't know. I don't know how to speak Spanish. No. Sorry, I'm uh, forgetting how to. It's been a while, but now I figured it out. I got there eventually. Uh, Rob, what was the first con you ever went to? The very, okay, so the very first convention I ever went to, there were two that I did after Red Dead Redemption. And one was in Wilmington, North Carolina, and the other was in San Antonio. And both of them, the one in San Antonio was at high school, like in their cafeteria. And <laughs> when was this? Do you know, remember what year? Probably 2011. I don't know. Yeah, wow. and yeah. Uh, people didn't people didn't know who I was until until, until. they would stop by and say something. I'd say, "Oh yeah, how are you?" And they'd go, "Oh, oh that he voice, yeah. yeah, you're the guy." So I guess then you know, but I mean, at a convention, that's not what people are asking when I ask. That no, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and that was that was so much different. Both of those experiences were so much different than the conventions that I go to now. Uh, I know. It's, yeah, it's like um, night and day, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, even then, you know, but I don't they've know. evolved, haven't they? Yeah, it, yeah. the whole industry's evolved as well. Like it's bigger now. It's there's more people love gaming yeah. and yeah, yeah. So those two, I mean, they, they they are conventions that I went to, but the first convention after Red Dead 2, where we're actually the same kind of conventions that I go to now, was in Kuwait, and it was awesome. It was so cool. I got, I got so many cool things. That this is my, 
This was given to me. I don't know if you can see this very well, but. Oh, nice. So that's the flag I'm looking at there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm, I hope I didn't just do that upside down. I think I did. You never did tell me I think it goes like this. Married. Yeah. Oh, there's two flags. Okay. I thought that Kuwait was beautiful and awesome. And again, you know, like. I. So Roger and Ben and Peter and I went to Kuwait and we were all kind of scared because we didn't know anything about it. It was in the Middle East, which we were afraid of because of what we've been told to be afraid of, but we went to Kuwait and experienced it with our own eyes, our own ears, we were there and we enjoyed it. It was awesome. How were the people? So, so cool, so cool. And you know, I mean, more than anything, what we were afraid of is we didn't want to do something that would be offensive because there are different things that, you know, if you don't yeah. know the culture, yeah. you could accidentally She's completely you don't want to offend, yeah. You don't talk about her so we wanted to be sure that, kind of that we weren't going to do that. But, but I mean, the people that we had that thoughts. we met there, that hung out with us, were all too. so cool. And if we had questions idea. about anything, they knew that we were being genuine. Survive. Like, we want to make sure that we're not going to do something wrong and be offensive. But everyone was friendly and cool and supportive. It was a really, really cool experience. And big Red Dead fans? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Canyon, and, uh, you know, there were, the there were there. cultural differences that you just, you just, you would see it and think, that's okay, cool. that's how things are done here. How do you, how and do you go we, with food in these foreign countries? Because it is very different. Food, yeah, can be very different. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoyed everything that we had in Kuwait. I remember that. that do you stick to really basics good. or do you, tr do you try things? Come on. Um, I don't know. I mean, we had a huge, huge spread in Kuwait that was really good, but it was like salads with maybe like a different kind of dressing, or there wasn't anything there that that I thought like this is something I've never had. It was just, right. it was like, um, it was authentic. I mean, it was it was real. Like it was yeah. eat whatever we ate there to eat it here, it would be somehow for for me it would be Americanized, right? Yeah. Or for you, it might be like changed just a little, curved a little bit more towards what you normally would like to taste and whatever. Right. But there, yeah, it was yeah. like. It was authentic, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, when I went to Lithuania, I had this soup. Come on. And Lithuanians oh, are on here. Yeah, and, I couldn't try soups. I don't know. I just. I'd have to no, see. Yeah. Was it nice? It was good. It was yeah. very good. Okay. It was. It was hot pink. The color of the soup Whoa, you know, was yeah. hot pink. Shit. And you, you eat yeah. it with a potato. The soup is actually served cold, and you eat it with a potato. Like you, you have a baked potato. You take your spoon and you scoop a little of the potato off, right. and then you get some of the soup. And it was somebody on here. I'm, I'm sure knows what it is that I'm. What it's cold, about. yeah. Um, I'm but, from Lithuania. Says the Jani. Dejana, so she might know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good, and I think it's kind of like a special occasion type dish. But um, yeah, we had that. And it was it was really awesome. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. So I I like to I like to try things, but um, let's go. I. But what? It seems like. Uh, like in the green room, right? Wherever, when we're at these conventions. Oh, is this, is this where the food's being served to you in the green room? Easy. Yeah, well, for, I guess the, the story I told about Kuwait and, and, and Lithuania, both of those were outside of the convention. They were at restaurants, both of them actually, in, in each oh, respective okay. place. But um, sometimes when you're it's in the green room. It's called Sardikai of Salta Barsiko Sakai. God, I can't yeah. I don't know how to say that. Salta no, Basque. Yeah. Oh, it was really good. It was, uh, it was just another thing. Like, they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to take me to a place that was going to have that and serve that. But they yeah. did, and it was awesome. Um, and so, I, yeah, I really appreciate that. But so, like, I was just recently in San Antonio, Texas, and in the green room where we all eat our lunch when we're at the actual convention. They had yeah. brisket 
Oh, and, I love brisk event. Yeah. Oh, and now you're talking. Like, they, you know, they, they really, they're the, they're kind of the ones that do it, right? We all try yeah. to imitate what they do, but it was They know so what good. they're doing, yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, I'm so many. Do you wish you could have gone drinking with Arthur and Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I would say this too about like doing the performance capture. This, this is wild. They they needed to to kind of wrap that up. They were trying to get things done. Art uh, Roger, Arthur, Roger was busy working on the other stage, so they had me come in to play the role of Arthur at the very end of that scene where. <clears throat> Oh, that's Lenny's, right, Lenny's yeah. Outside. Yeah, and Lenny's outside, he gets tackled by a couple guys, and, and then Arthur runs off. At least this is what oh, they had me now. shoot. Yeah. And they oh, said, you. you're drunk, you're Arthur, but you're also oh, drunk. So just kind of try to be drunk, but don't look like John. <laughs> just do your thing. And I thought, okay, and I... <laughs> the way that I did my drunk Arthur walk, just was the most ridiculous thing. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I wish there was footage of that. Far oh my goodness! Come on, he played it back for me. He said, "Hey, you got you got to come see this." After he, had, you know, finally stopped laughing. So you got to look at this. And he showed me. He said, "If this is what you look like when you go out and get drunk, I definitely need to go party with you." And he played it, and it was me. Like, <laughs> oh man. So many, so many fun times Thanks that we had. For your help today. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, I would love, we got some love to go out horses. drinking with, with you know, Arthur and, and Lenny. As well, I got one here. Rob needs to come to an Oz Comic Con. He's a fine animal. I agree. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you ever yeah. see the edits made of you of John Marston on YouTube, Rob? Do you ever get to see any of those videos that people make? I do sometimes, yeah. Sometimes people will will tag me or share with me whatever different oh, videos, and uh, yeah. there's some there are some really talented, really um, just creative people out there, and I love it. It's so funny. The, Someone like, needs uh, to clip the the failed sign after the Spanish, please, from today's stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, please. Oh my God. That's a highlight for me, for sure. Uh, and guy, also, were, yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm no, no. Gonna tell you I'm, I'm talking Spanish. shit. Go ahead. No, no, I am too. I am too. Actually, <laughs> about myself though. But I saw this guy in San Antonio said, he said, "Do you speak Spanish?" And this is a guy who speaks Spanish. He says, "Do you? Did you? Did you actually know how to speak Spanish?" And you tried to make yourself sound like you don't, or or what? Like, do you speak Spanish? And I right. said, uh, I said, yeah. I need. Uh, I picked up my glass and I said, Necesito mas vasos. And he immediately said, Vasos. Like, co corrected me right away. I was like, Dad, come on, man. I really wanted to prove to you that I know how to speak Spanish, but I guess I didn't tell. I don't know. I'll try. But yeah, it's about, I speak it about as well as John, I guess. Um,. Scotland Zeef, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. I didn't see a question. If you please come through again, if you have a question, game like you mean it. Howdy, Rob. I love the ragdoll physics in Red Dead. So I spent a lot of time jumping off cliffs. As weird as that sounds, it was fun to record the extra voice lines. Oh, sorry. Was it fun to record those voice lines and screams? Goodness, oh, man. man. <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> The script, okay, so. They're so, called efforts, aren't they? Yeah. Those, like falling off a cliff, catching on fire. Hold on. Um, I'm just going to go get run over by this train. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. Yeah. Listen to the screaming. So falling off a cliff, catching on fire, and puking were the hardest things oh, to do. Oh, puking. Sandwich. Was it you that told oh me goodness. that you actually puked while doing it, or was that someone else? I didn't. I didn't actually puke. Okay. But there were several times where I almost did. In fact, they bring in a trash can for you for that, just in case, because people do. Yeah. Because to try to try to sound like you're actually puking, you almost puke 
just because it's just the way that works, I guess. You know, yeah. like yeah. Um, but yeah, like the yelling, the screaming, and stuff is horrible. They want to have different variations too, right? So if they say, "Give me ten different variations," we're not gonna. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Yeah. We're, we're not gonna need that many. <laughs> But give us 10 different variations of falling off a cliff. And so you'd go and you, you do the first one and you do it, you know, it, it takes a second to get through it. Like it's a four or five second scream, right? Yeah. And then, and then you, you kind of look, cause there's like a window and you can see the text, the sound technicians and everybody, the director through this glass. So you look and they give you the nod of approval. Like, yep, go keep going, whatever. Yeah. You, so you do the second one, and you know that that one sounds different than the first one. And then you get the a nod of approval again. So you do the third one, and maybe you get the nod of approval then. Or maybe they're kind of like, come do it again, on, keep going. Go. Because the, the first on, one or the fourth on, one, whatever, they sound exactly the same. The and you don't do it on purpose, but well, you, you in order to get ten <laughs> different <laughs> sounds... He's just going to keep going again and again, yeah. Yeah. So what do you suggest, Damien? I don't know. You don't think of that, but you're you're 100 percent right. You would probably accidentally do the same one. Yeah. yeah. It's not something that you practice, you know, when you're when you're outside of the booth. Give me give me five different screens like you're catching on fire. Like you hope to God you don't know what you would sound like. <laughs> Catch on fire. You just have to do it, you know, and oh crazy. They were very cool about it, though. Very fun. Kept it fun. Another Indiana man loves this Mr. Marston from Rob G. He must be from Indiana. Uh, right on, man. Would you ever Thanks come? For tuning in. Would you ever come to Sheffield, Rob, if you were asked? Thank you so much, Nicole, for the five. Would you ever come to Sheffield? Is yeah. that in, is that in England? Or no? Am I am I wrong? Sheffield. Sure work. Chef, I'm not sure what well, thank you. Yes, uh, love to. Huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's in England. Ambient yeah. Amazing to think this game is actually the second entry in the series and no one remembers Revolver. Says a lot how good this game did. <laughs> From Connor. Uh, Link, have you ever, have you or any of the gang ever made your way to Alaska? Very f beautiful time uh, wow. of year. That's from Link. Thank you so much for the five, Link. We appreciate it. Link, thank you. I, I don't think anybody's been to Alaska. I don't, I, not that I'm aware of, but that would be definitely a place I would like to check out too. I would love to go travel anywhere and meet people. Anyway, I, I mean, I know it doesn't work that way, but I, I appreciate people having interest in meeting us. And yeah. We always enjoy it, so thank you. And I believe in Alaska, is it like 20 hours of the day is like daytime? I think during certain parts of the, of the year. Of the year, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. barely ever Isn't night, it? I think. I, I believe it's Alaska. Uh, I could be wrong, but... Did you know you were Way filming? Did you know you were filming your final scene with Roger? Um, did you know he was going to die in the next scene? Lano says that. Thank you for the five. We appreciate it. Lano, thank you. Yeah, I did at that point. Yeah, that was actually the "You're my brother" scene. That was the very last thing that we did yeah. in the performance capture studio. Yeah, so we I talked about that. that yeah, earlier. Yeah. Um, Mullen. I'm just going to call you Molin. Hey, Rob, I'm glad to see you're here playing the game the first time. Do you remember any funny lines you said as John in the first game? Does any stick out? Any funny lines? I think we had a few just before. The lizard one was good. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak. Lazy as a lizard on a hot summer day. Yeah. Um, I know that there are definitely a lot of funny lines when it comes to Uncle, I'm sure. There were things that, um, like, I'm sure when he's talking to Jonah, right? The, uh, the, well, sure, the deputy guy where he says, yeah, there's 
I'm sure there's some school children, school girls you can go frighten or whatever. You <laughs> Things like that. I remember, I remember we would get chuckles out of stuff like that during the time. Um, but someone. You couldn't shoot someone. a fart out of your own ass? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a good, a good one. one. Yeah. Let's go. I made a post about this live stream and someone commented when someone with a sing-song voice tells me to watch his live stream. <laughs> the rest of that line, it's, it's not... Oh my goodness, now I'm going blank. I've, I've tried to do something and now I'm going blank. <laughs> it definitely, it definitely gets my attention. I'm blocking it. So this, someone says Alaska has 30 days of night, so that is confirmed. Whoa, oh God, wow. The cliff. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that like was, most, I looked up interviews and all on YouTube, but this is like extra behind the scenes. Also, Gusta Española, Lo Haspion. I, I hope I said that right. I can't confirm whether you did or not. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm trying yeah. to wrangle horses in the middle of the night, and I've just failed. Fuck. Oh, no. Uh, hello from Ireland, from Wayne. What's happened, Wayne, in Ireland? I hope you're doing well. As we get closer to the summer solace, sun rises early every year, every day, and stays out longer every night. Same goes for winter, but the opposite. Ah, okay. Yeah. I Interesting. Think that would be hard. It would definitely be hard in the winter when it's dark for 30 days. That would drive me crazy. But that would drive me crazy, was, yeah. In the summer, trying to get to bed at a regular time when the sun is just always up, that'd be, that'd be tricky too, I think. I'd be, I would do better the, with that. Though. Yeah, if the sun's out all, oh all the God, time. The yeah. <laughs> never, it's never goes down. All right, I am not going to fail it this time, guys. Okay. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm actually going to get this done. Let's go. Round them up. Round them up, baby. We got people in here from Denmark, Rob, Germany. Wild. Isn't it wild? That oh, one yeah, game can one game can connect us all in a way, you know? Yeah, when you said that earlier, I asked how where everyone was from. That was that was really, really cool to see. If yeah. Texas Texas is in the building. California, Houston. I was just in Houston a couple of weeks ago in your airport. It was awesome. I had a great burrito there, actually. One of the best burritos I've ever had. What's your what's airport. your go-to burrito? What do you got in it? Oh man. Let's go. So I my favorite my favorite burrito place by the way is Chipotle. And oh really? I, do, yeah. do you have that in Australia? Do you have Chipotle? Uh, I don't believe so, no. But I've been oh, there. I have, I, when I went to the States I, I had it here. So I know yeah. what, you, what you're talking about. We, we we only just got Taco Bell, man. And Carl's yeah. Jr. <laughs> and they yeah, Carl's Jr. has to talk. That was too dumb. Man, I would. I, Chipotle, I, honestly, I. If you told me, yeah. if someone told me, Chipotle is the only thing that you're going to be able to eat for the rest of your life. That's every meal, the only you, thing you, you get to have. You would do it. I'd be like, all right. Then. No, okay, so really. I, I, I thought you were going to give me bad news. That's not bad news. At all. I love it that much. I, I love it that much. But so I just get, I get a burrito. With white rice, uh, chicken, no beans. Chicken? Like beans no, I don't have beans, beans either. Yeah, but chicken. I, I usually have slow, slow cooked beef. Personally. Yeah. 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 Well, my go-to. Yeah, I guess this is my. Like, this is your go-to. What I normally. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so white rice, chicken, no beans, lettuce, cheese, sour cream. Not. I don't get the queso. I just get the cheese. I don't. I'm not big on queso inside my burrito. Yeah. But I get it. A lot of people like it. I, I like it outside. I like to dip it. Too. Anyway, yeah. medium salsa, and then chips and salsa, and it's. I, I don't have a Chipotle in my hometown. There's not what? even one within. 
No. So you, not, you, you have to go when you're away. That's the only time yeah. you can go. Yeah. Yes. And I, I'm devastated by it because I used to, when I lived in LA, there were several days, <laughs> several days, where I would go to one uh, location at Chipotle for lunch, you're funny. and then a different one for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought there's a chance the same people are going to be there. Uh, you're funny. And they're going to look at me like, yeah, I love it so much. Far it's out. So, so that's yeah. your probably favorite um, sort of fast food joint? Easily. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. And so now when I do go, there was, there was a summer where I would go uh, like one Friday a month. I would drive myself after no. work. I would just go up. Yeah, it was like a 40 minute drive. It's not terrible. For Chipotle. I, I would get Chipotle and I would sit down and I would, you know, after working, you know, construction work, I was hungry. But I also yeah. love it so much. Yeah. I would I would look like a rabid animal in there. Just, I would love it and scarf it down so fast I had to stop doing it because. I was making a spectacle out of myself. For sure. <laughs> I, just I was just like, ah. Oh, so, you're funny, man. Yeah, That's brilliant. Hi from Italy. Hi, Italy. Someone's uh, asking, how long will this stream be? Do you want out? Is that what you're saying? You, are you over it, TA? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, how long? Uh, yeah. I mean, look. I'm sure that's not what you're asking. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bird back there. Yeah. You might make it. I think, we're, I think we're, gonna, we're about to wrap up um, because it's heading on 3 a.m. here in Australia for good old Dan. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll end, we'll save here and we'll ask if we'll answer a few more questions and then we'll. Um, I'll just go and save. You get used to the oh, darkness, okay. not the midnight sun, right? Yeah. That's yeah. in relation to um, Alaska. <laughs> I see someone say, no, don't go. Well, I, we'll, we'll be back. We're going to we'll come be back. back don't worry. Day. Next Sunday, we'll be back. We're not going anywhere. Awesome. You guys are so cool for hanging out. Thank you so much. And and this is uh, this is only going to get better as we keep going. We're going to have more stories and more uh, more things. It's trying to figure out how this all works this first time, but I think we got it now. We have completed there. nearly twelve percent of the game, Rob. Not bad. No. Wow. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. We've completed Definitely. ten missions now. That I believe there's correct me in the chat, guys. Fifty six missions, and we've already done ten. So we're flying through. Um, but wow. I think they get a lot longer as we go on, if you know what I mean. Yeah. We've broken three horses. Um, we've discovered 13 of 94 areas. Five days have passed in game. And our fame is nobody. <laughs> so we really haven't made an impact just yet. But we will soon. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's first stream. I think it's been a huge success, Rob. What do you think? Yeah, I've really, I have really enjoyed it. And I'm telling you, honestly, seeing this stuff already has brought back so many memories, so many things that I forgot about. But definitely check out all these people, all their IMDB pages. Check them out. You've, you've seen a lot of these people work in different TV shows and movies, and you just weren't aware of it. But it'll be interesting for you to, to, to recognize who all these characters are in real life. You're going to love it. Rob is the man. Thank you. Great stream. That was awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out, Rob and Dan. Dan and Rob, thank you so much. This has been really, really cool. I love it. I'm looking forward to doing it again. And uh, Beautiful. we'll have to figure out. We talked about trying to, to, to get more people involved and we'll see if we can do that before next time yeah Hopefully. yeah yeah I don't, I'm, I'm trying to think yeah if we were to try and get someone on for next time who would we do i'm trying to just think what sort of missions we've got here but um we'll, we'll talk off air and have a look 
and see how we yeah. go. But um, Rob, thank you for taking the time, man, and everyone in here. We really appreciate the support today. And make sure you, again, share the stream, edit. We want to make this a, a, a really um, great time for everyone. And and um, again, this is this is unprecedented. Rob, no Red Dead actor has done what we're doing here today. Live on air, reacting, great stories. So this is a world's first. So make sure you are subscribed, notifications on, follow me and Rob on everything, especially Rob. Don't worry about me, especially Rob. Follow him. His TikTok's brilliant. His TikTok, Rob, your TikTok is, it's got to be the best TikTok out there. All right. Um, oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> ridiculous. And yeah, no, no we'll, we'll, we'll give you updates on socials when the next stream is, but it, it should be next Sunday at a, at a similar time. And, a, and, you know, if you want to go back and watch anything, this will be up on my channel. And anything else you want to say, Rob? Oh, but I'm so, I've enjoyed this so much. And uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say besides everyone please recognize that it's 3 a.m. for Dan right now, and he's partying with all of you. So thank him for doing this because it would not be possible without him. And and I personally want to say thank you, Dan, for this. this thank you, man. No, it's my Good pleasure. On. It's my pleasure. If you would have told me when I played this in 2011, you know, Dan, in 10 years, you're actually going to be playing the game with John Marston. I think he would have... He would have been a pretty happy guy. So, all right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next week, next Sunday. I hope to see all your beautiful faces here again. And thanks so much, guys. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. <laughs>